Isaac Brew make him feels a bite on his line and pulls up something larger than he ever imagined. Whoa! It looks like he hooked the shark, but when you watch it again, you'll see the shark was actually going after a much smaller fish. Isaac quickly unhooks and releases the fish before the shark has the chance for a second go. Isaac is so incredibly lucky that the line was behind him and not close to the kayak, otherwise this shark could have practically landed in his lap. If you ever find yourself in the middle of nowhere at night, beware who or what else might be out there with you. Published in January of 2020, Junked Up Kitten asserts that a ritual had occurred in his yard of 20 acres in the Pikes Peak Wilderness area of Colorado. In the video, the man says he just got home and his wife left almost immediately for her night shift. He was playing some games on his computer when his dog started freaking out. That's when he started to hear a weird whistling coming from outside, so he dons his boots and other winter gear before heading out to investigate the matter with his dog in the remote darkness. Already courageous in my opinion. He walks out into the snow under a full moon, checks on his hens in their hen house, and also walks through his storage sheds. That's when he hears his dog barking like crazy. Well, you got something? He sets out in search of his dog to see what's got him all riled up and comes across a strange sight chicken feet and a bone hanging from a tree by some orange twine. Off in the distance, he spots fire in the darkness, which he says looks like candlelight. Needless to say, this all freaks him out. He decides to investigate and starts walking towards the distant fire. Soon he comes across the ritualistic setting. Tarot cards are all laid out on the ground, surrounded by five votive candles, an unlit lantern, and a purple cloth bag. It seems that Ziggy, the dog, scared off whoever was out there. They left the place in a hurry, abandoning the ritual ceremony, tarot cards and all. So many questions remain. Who were these people? Why were they on the man's property in the first place? And what were they doing? Most importantly, what do the tarot cards read? Hopefully this man's property isn't now cursed. When you want to get away from it all and get back to nature, camping is an ideal way to self-isolate, but sometimes you're not alone. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by WillyComics64, the redditor writes, I found this guy near my campsite and I don't know who he is or where he came from. The clip shows a man lurking in the trees near Willy's campsite. He appears and then just as quickly vanishes. Well, some in the comments don't find this all that odd as hiking is part of camping. Others think it's just a little weird that the stranger didn't introduce himself and just seemed to disappear in an instant. Willie explains in the comments that the situation freaked him out because no one was renting the site next to him and he didn't see this man at any other campsite or on the trail that loops around the campground. Redditor Laura Malia 649 writes, and this is why I fear people when I camp more than the wildlife around me. Others think that the man acted very suspiciously and hoped that the Redditor has something to protect himself with. Redditor FakerHoach10000 suggests that perhaps the man was growing deep in the woods and just came out to look after his plants. Willie can only hope that these assessments are right because if this man is anything other than a hiker, a camper, or a grower, then who knows what his intentions are. A YouTuber named Jonathan Russo is renovating a room in his home. When he discovers something out of place, he taps on a bottom portion of the wall and it sounds hollow, so he cuts away a hole. And I find a hidden room underneath. House. The space is lined with old bricks and carries an ominous and foreboding atmosphere. Jonathan feels very out of place and doesn't stay for long. It's pretty creepy. The room itself appears to have no structural purpose and seems to be walled off for no reason. This, combined with Jonathan's reluctance to go any further, raises some questions. I wonder what happened in there, if anything, that would cause a previous owner to seal it away. Ken1082 catches what he claims is a mysterious light that's not part of a storm. It almost has to be a storm, but a user named Combat points out a strange and creepy figure standing in the doorway when the lightning flashes. 
The lights flicker on and off in the room to reveal a person who was apparently standing there the whole time. Let me know if you see them and what you think it was. This video was posted on the Chills Narrator subreddit, so I wanted to know what you make of it. Hannah Atkinson is excited to open her eBay mystery box that she has bought for just under 20 pounds. Inside are a variety of trinkets that Hannah seems genuinely happy to receive, but then she comes across a bottle of sunscreen that I personally think is a little odd and suspicious. And it's taped at the top um, with the same tape that's on the box, so not too sure what that's about, but that's fine. Hannah has no use for the mysterious taped up bottle since it is winter time in the UK and she decides not to put it on. I guess this bottle could truly just be some leftover sunscreen from someone who wanted to give it away, but it could also be filled with just about any kind of chemical you could imagine. Let me know if you think this was a legitimate bottle or some kind of trap devised by an online sadist. More importantly, let me know if you would have been brave enough to test the product with your own skin. Maxim enters another terrifying witch's house in this paranormal investigation. As soon as he walks in, the demon lets him know he is there. But it's when he lights up these demon dolls with ritualistic symbols drawn on them that he faces the real terror. While these may not be voodoo dolls, it certainly seems that Maxim just lit up the devil. The awful sounds coming from the spirit box seems to be coming straight from the fiery depths below. You'd think Satan would be used to a bit of fire. On April 5th of 2016, this mysterious UFO was seen hovering around the International Space Station at 7.23 in the morning during a NASA live stream. I'll have to close out and open it back up again. Copy. A flat disk slowly rises on the blue horizon in the distance. It grows larger and larger and then appears to briefly invert itself while continuing to the surface. I have no idea what this thing could be, so please give me your best guess. As far as I know, NASA has yet to give an official explanation. Dan from Nighthawks Paranormal is exploring this demon house in an investigation that will give you chills. As he enters, he hears a strange moan. He continues to hear things off screen. But there's nothing there. Still, it's almost like he's being followed. So that one? <gasps> Was that you then that made that noise on that? He keeps hearing faint noises. <laughs> Then he captures a figure on the connect standing near the railing. Thank you. Can you do that again? Thank you. The figure makes its way down the stairs. Can you show yourself again, please? Dan then feels something watching him. <sighs> Holy <laughs> Was that you then? I've just heard. The spirit is now leading him. 
What the flipping heck is that? Are you trying to get my attention in another room? Is it this room you want me in? Then Dan sees him in the mirror. Is that you? Is that you in the mirror? And from another angle... Or have you misplaced it? <gasps> Holy smokes. Is the spirit trying to reveal itself to him? I think so. Either that or it's inviting Dan into the mirror. This dog's owner says it can see a ghost in the same hallway that they are in. It's okay. Her dog is definitely looking at something it doesn't want to go near at all. It keeps a wide distance and absolutely refuses to go past this line. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Listen, when your full-grown dog is barking nervously and actually backing towards the door to get away, it's time to get the heck out of that room yourself. But at 36 seconds, the dog does kind of look over to a framed picture on the wall. Maybe it saw its own reflection in the surface and started freaking out. But that's just my guess. It's 5.36 in the morning, hours before anyone should be inside of the Safety Harbor Public Library in Florida. Everything looks to be in order until this book goes flying off the shelf for absolutely no reason. The opening librarian was surprised to find a book lying perfectly balanced on the floor the next day. So they check the security camera only to find this strange occurrence. Even if this was set up and someone was standing on the other side of the shelf to push a book to the ground, there's no way they could have made the book balance perfectly on its side like that. It really is as if a poltergeist purposefully made the book land in that position so as to attract as much fearful suspicion as possible. And apparently it worked. No one is safe in this church of demons. Jody from Hunting the Dead enters this very scary church whose entities are highly active. Can you, can you knock like you just did a moment ago in the direction where I can find you? They really do seem like they have something to say. But I'm gonna say a prayer right now, and if there is something truly demonic here, That something seems urgent. Do you mind if I'm here? He hears a wail in the distance. And things start to spin. Yo, what? Dude, I'm not losing it. That light just came on and that fan just moved a little bit. Then things light up. <gasps> when the demons start to whistle, you know it's time to leave. Yo, yo. Jody doesn't heed their warnings, and he pays the price. If there's anything you want to say, speak into my camera. What do you think these demons were trying to communicate? Whatever it is, they got their points across. What would you do if you heard intense screaming from an abandoned building? Post it to the Sir Spook subreddit. This video was filmed in an abandoned office. The clip shows the person filming climb up some stairs in a dark, very buggy building. 
Some eerie screaming and whistling is heard from somewhere beyond. As he continues through the building, entering another room, the agonizing screaming gets louder. He walks closer and closer to another room, but seems to have finally met something that scared him enough to flee, although I'm not sure why those screams weren't enough to begin with. Many in the comments agree that the screaming would have sent him running for the hills. Some even suggest that the Redditor should have called the authorities, as it sounds like someone was in distress. As Britain on Reddit noted, um, why were you going further? Redditor SRGB Ski remarks that it sounds like someone was being jumped and the filmer walked in on it. Any way you slice it, that sound certainly stays with you. A YouTuber named Ghost Chic believes she has a problem in her home of the paranormal variety. One day her dog just starts patrolling the living room, as if on guard even though there is nothing out of the ordinary and no strange noises. I'm wondering if it is annoyed by something on television, or at something we can't see standing there. Then it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Whatever it is, he seems satisfied that it's gone for now. But then he tries to track it. Meanwhile, notice how the smaller dog doesn't seem to care at all. Is everything okay? It's definitely weird, although maybe it could have just been a bug or something. But still, that doesn't explain how on a different day, both of her dogs get up to see who's at the door. The door opens and I think I might see a shadow pass through, though it could be the outside light. As soon as she's coming in to see what's wrong, the barely discernible orb passes overhead, unseen to her at the time but caught on camera nonetheless. And when she later goes ghost hunting using a Kinect in the same room, she detects a spirit by the window. I want to pan so you can see that there's no one else over there with her. No one's on my curtain. Then, something eerie happens. So is this a paranormal encounter? Or is this person waving their hand at 38 seconds, also moving it with their hand during this part? I'll let you decide. This clip shows a normal psychedelic filter, the electric color surrounding the girl in frame. She then turns her camera to span the room. The filter follows for a moment before becoming absent from the shot, as the room is empty. Or is it? The person detecting filter appears to detect someone in the chair sitting opposite. No one is there. And yet the silhouette of a human form starts to appear in the shot in shocking black and white. It seems to be seated in the chair. The girl turns the filter back to her face and the shocking figure follows, blending into the psychedelic filter colors around her again. Redditor HydraWrench97 is both tentative and jumping to the paranormal and rightly creeped out. She writes, Usually these Snapchat filter ghost clips are glitching and basically the camera falling for pareidolia. But this one is weird. Might just be the spookiest glitch ever. But it is very weird and would scare me if that was my living room. Maybe it sees something we don't. We've all encountered a Karen or two in our lives, but it's a rare occasion that we're faced with a Karen this far out of control. A ballistic individual was captured on video standing in the middle of an intersection, facing a bus, screaming at the top of her lungs. It's unclear what she's saying and why she's so angry. But what's become clear is that she's chosen to take her rage out on the bus. She targets the front window with her fist, shattering the glass. When she moves to the side door, what she's screaming is finally audible. She's telling someone to get off the bus. Oh my. 
but whoever it is she's screaming at does not get off the bus, so she runs across the street, likely in order to escape prosecution for the damage done to public property. No further information could be found on this incident, so it's unknown what preceded the meltdown or followed it, if it was provoked, or why it escalated to this degree. Regardless, it seems like this went from 0 to 100 pretty quickly. A YouTuber named Tai Jiang Ko is sifting through a deep web box when she comes across what appears to be some sort of surgical instrument with strange markings, though I don't know what they could mean, if anything at all. B4 or something? Yeah, it says B4 on it. Then there's also marker right here. I also don't know what they were used for, only that they leave a greenish stain on Tai Jai's gloves, which I hope is nothing toxic. She changes gloves and moves on to the next object, an ice pick covered in red at the tip. I'm hoping that it's just rust and not what I think it is. Let me know what you think. My only question besides what this could be is who put it in the box and why? Have you ever come across a video so scary that you don't want to inflict that feeling of impending doom on others? This video was posted by Hirsch Duchy to the Chills Narrator subreddit. The Redditor asks for some help in discerning what's happening here. Duchy is in an abandoned house that's littered with junk. While wandering around the space, he arrives at the kitchen. You can see the cupboard door is slightly ajar. A moment later, it opens wider on its own. The Redditor said he didn't notice this strange event at the moment. It was only when he was showing his mother the video later that he realized something unseen might have been in the house with him. Well, Dechi asked for help explaining this, and plenty of Redditors rose to the occasion. Many in the comments of this clip suggest that the wind and the open door were involved, noting that you can hear the wind and see the plants moving outside. Nails or anything like that. The Redditor agrees that it's probably the wind, but wanted to see what others thought. Whether or not there may be a paranormal theory, he also notes that the wind wasn't blowing in the direction to open the door. Redditor Kaliana78, however, appears to disagree with the others writing. If it were the wind that blew that open, why wasn't all the junk blowing around as well? What do you think? Is this just another episode of wind and air streams causing movements in inanimate objects? Or is there something seriously dark going on in this house? Odd lights hang around shortly after. Gavin Blackshire leaves his property, and he is certain they're supernatural. The lights move over one car and back again. Never breaking their vertical formation. Someone in the comments says that it's just a spider web with rain droplets up close. I believe this explanation, but at the same time it's really weird how nothing appears until the moment he leaves. A redditor named Radlad1 made a three post series about a possible ghost lurking in his closet. In the first video, he stands outside and hears a dripping noise. It's very quiet so I'll boost the sound for you to better hear. That sounds like it could be a leaky pipe or something, but look what happens when he goes to open it. Okay, okay, that's not... His hand isn't even touching anything. When there's a knock from the other side, the question is whether this is a spirit or just someone he knows. The first video piqued Reddit's interest, so he began documenting more. The spirit is in a foul mood on a different night and the noises grow persistent. Radlad1 finds himself reluctantly standing before his haunted closet once again. The air sounds charged with electricity and carries with it a distant wail, and that's when he notices the door is slightly ajar.
Okay, so this could be fake, and the second person could be inside the closet. But wouldn't the shadow of their arm show against the wall here? When they slam the door, I see nothing. By now, paranormal activity during the day too. Whereas before it was just late at night, everyone is demanding he open the closet and show them what's inside, and he waits until it starts making noises to prove to everyone, once and for all, that this closet is quite haunted. There's absolutely nothing inside but this creepy doll, which says everything I need to know. However, shortly before he opens the closet, there's a brief moment where he zooms out of focus. This could be where he stopped recording to let his friend out, then zoomed back into focus to make it look like a continuous take, but it looks pretty real to me. This video could be someone talking gibberish in their sleep, or it could be a possession, as uploader Jron2 seems to think. Listen to this part and tell me if you think she could be speaking an ancient language. Oh yeah? What does that mean? Uh, One person in the comments section for this video thinks she might be saying something like, on the other side of the gods in Old Latin. Whatever that means, if a second person could verify that this was what she said, then maybe we would know if she was possessed or just mumbling. A YouTuber named Aeromax Music has to walk down the seedy hallway late at night, six days a week to get to his apartment. It always gives him a terribly dreadful feeling, so this time he records himself to feel a little safer. The entire time a neighbor is playing some creepy dance music that has a heartbeat and bass turned up loud enough to make the wall shake. You can't hear anything else. And that's precisely why this next part is so scary. Despite the loud music, a woman's frantic laughter is heard next to him in the empty hallway. At this exact moment, a visual disturbance appears in the bottom corner for only a few frames and disappears. Could this be his thumb? When he gets onto the elevator, the music stops and a weird noise can be heard. Is this a creaky gear or a disembodied moan? Basically, do you think these occurrences are all in his head, or is this a hallway that's truly haunted? In many of these drone-on-human encounters, the drone is more the predator than the prey. But in this encounter, the drone operator is kind of both. Jacob Vetter, who published this drone footage in May of 2015, and claims that this crazy lady was doing weird stuff on his porch in the video. You can indeed see a woman on a porch, dressed with her t-shirt overhead, when she spots the drone up above. She does as most people on this list have done. She tries to knock the drone out of the sky. First, she uses a stick. That doesn't go over so well. Then she tries plush dice. That doesn't work either. Next, she is seen swinging what appears to be a black purse, but she doesn't throw it. Instead, she puts it on and leaves the yard, and paces back and forth waywardly on the sidewalk. It's uncertain what she's waiting for, if she's waiting for anything at all. Finally, she gets on her bike that's been parked on the sidewalk all along, and she takes off rather clumsily, circling around the yard, then jutting out right into the road. It appears that she's definitely on something, what we can only guess. But the biggest question is, what was she doing on this guy's porch in the first place? Lurie Glow has a haunted home that keeps him on edge at all times. He records down the hallway because a ghost is down there. He's sure of it. I'm not sure what he is saying and need your help to fully understand. <laughs> He hears a loud noise from behind. As the ghost walks past and touches a light, the living room is where he experiences the most paranormal activity. So there's already a second camera all set up. Here is the same scary moment from a different angle. As you can see, he hears a bang. 
turns around, and that's when this stuffed animal gets possessed. Is someone pulling strings off camera, or are these objects moving on their own? Kazakhstan is a country with three mountain regions said to hold many strange secrets. One such secret can be found by satellite on Google Earth, and it's creepy beyond belief. The lines connect to form a pentagram within a circle. No one knows why someone put such a symbol out in the middle of nowhere. It's either a hoax or an actual summoning circle right by a large body of water, which, if you believe in rituals, could be a necessary element for whatever is being cast. So let me know if you think this weird symbol was made for evil purposes or just for attention. Something tells me this was never meant to be discovered. A coffee shop in New Jersey, known only as the cafe, is rumored to be quite haunted. This used to be a hardware store long ago, and every day at 3 in the afternoon the old owner is said to still make rounds. A paranormal investigation team sets up a camera to test the rumor out, and sure enough, at 3 in the afternoon this light anomaly plays against the wall. It looks like someone is walking through the room at first, but then again, it could simply be light reflecting off the window of a vehicle driving by. Roughly half an hour later is when a second camera records this chair moving by itself. First it pulls out and then it smoothly goes back into place, like somebody sitting at the table. There are no strings on the legs and no visible shadow on the wall, so I think it could have been a ghost like they say it was. The ghost hunters also claim to have heard footsteps too, but unfortunately the video evidence does not have sound, so there's no way to verify that part of their investigation. This happened in May of 2020, so hopefully we get more potential ghost sightings from this coffee shop in the near future. TT Mando posted this video in 2008 of his ninja cat chasing a ghost around the living room. In the description, he writes, I have never really been a believer in ghosts, but my wife and I have two cats that used to always go nuts seeing things that we could not see. They would howl at the lights in our dining room and chase things around that were not there. It was really weird, so my one cat starts going nutty one night like he is seeing something. So I decided to try and shoot some footage thinking maybe I can see what they are seeing through a camera. The video begins with the cat watching something floating in the air attentively. What is he staring at? While shooting the footage, the YouTuber switched between regular and night vision mode, which is when the ninja cat started climbing the walls. Literally. You can see that the cat has managed to climb to the top of a dresser and is looking up into the corner of the room. Whatever the cat has its eyes on must be moving all over the place because her gaze darts here and there. The cat then jumps down from its spot on the dresser to a scratching post. And then, as its eyes follow the invisible, it jumps up the wall and lands on the floor. It tries again, jumping up the door and managing to get its claws into the door frame. It looks up into the corner of the ceiling, its head still darting around. The cat hangs there for nearly an entire minute, seemingly enraptured by the ghost or spirit in its sights. Seriously, do you see anything there? because I sure do. According to the YouTuber, a dot of light moved through the TV once he got his cat down from the door. The YouTuber points out the light that moves from the back to the front of the room. If you watch the video closely, you can see it too. The experience was, apparently, traumatic for this cat owner, who now sleeps with the covers over his head. Buckle your seatbelts. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, this video is apparently forbidden in most countries, and it's clear why. The footage shows two lit up objects in the sky. They're both moving slightly, with one of them moving a bit faster than the other and in different directions. The lights blink as the unidentified flying device on the bottom moves up towards the one above it. Suddenly, they fuse and it sends a shockwave through the sky, like a bolt of lightning. What in the heck just happened here? The 
uploaders stumbled across the freaky forbidden video in the summer of 2018. Some think it's most likely a clip from an indie movie. Redditor the Lovely Raven 313 points out, if this actually happened, the media would be on it. Many agree with this sentiment. While some are willing to suspend their disbelief when asked what it is, the Redditor admits he doesn't know. That's why I'm posting this to try and solve the mystery, he writes. Can you solve the mystery? I'm at a loss here. This deer looks like it could be fine except it's walking in circles with its tongue hanging out without a clue of its surroundings. A telltale sign of CWD. The person recording thinks this could be the work of hunters but I disagree. Watch this part and tell me what you really think happened. Oh yeah. I got shot. The deer circles in place for well over a minute and then silently walks out to a nearby field. The way it is walking here makes me think that this is the result of something to do with the brain. The animal is so out of it that it looks ready to walk through the front door of a nearby home. Perhaps this exact scenario is precisely how it will one day spread to humans. I really hope this incident was reported to the proper wildlife agency for further investigation. Jay Game has been having problems with a stalker lately who has been coming around his home dressed like a clown. He is pretty sure it is just some local high school students who watch his channel, but lately they've been growing bolder and now something new has pushed him to his absolute breaking point. I'm scared to be in my own house like that. That's a f***ing problem. This is Max. This is Max. One day, he returns home only to find a creepy letter inside of a tattered envelope with red stains all over. The outside says, we followed you home, and the inside says that they are going to come for him at 2 o'clock. Instead of calling the police, Jay Game decides to handle this problem himself. He keeps his camera rolling and waits at home all day for them to come over. Hours later, two loud bangs from outside send a jolt of adrenaline coursing through him. Instead of rushing out the door, he sneaks upstairs to get a better look at his adversary. He sees someone dressed like a clown with a scary mask and bright orange hair. The person doesn't look very large, maybe about the size of a high schooler, but it's the menacing posture combined with the baseball bat that keeps J-Game away. He waits a long time before going outside, where he finds the gate has been left wide open. It seems like they are gone for the time being, but who knows when they will be back again. A driver in Singapore thinks they have a clear lane ahead when something to the right startles them badly enough to make them lay on their horn. The pale outline of a woman appears to be perfectly balanced on the center divider. While this could just be a person trying to cross a busy road, the driver is convinced that they've seen a ghost. Even if this is a person and not a spirit, I really don't know why they would choose to cross this section of the road. Aside from heavy traffic, there's really nothing but a tall hill on the other side and no discernible buildings of any kind. While investigating an old schoolhouse, this group's trail camera caught this unexplained happening. Posted to the ghosts subreddit, Key Consequence 7618 explains what we're looking at here. We had come from the first classroom walking towards the second classroom. This is a light in the doorway on the left just as the board jumps up. The board that he's talking about is a piece of plywood set in a doorway. It shudders long after they've entered the room, so it can't be a reverberation of the crew having walked on it. Further, as the Redditor said, a strange light appears in the window of the door, as if someone that was standing there left at that very moment. Although the Redditor says he and another member of his crew were the only two people in the house, it looks like they weren't alone. This creepy randonautica led YouTuber Jasko Vlogs to Devil's Forest, and he was met with this mysterious call of the wild. Oh, no. I'm trying to see if there's any. Bro? What was that? I don't know what that was, but it sounded afraid. They then find this bizarre shelter. Looks like someone built some type of shelter here or something. I don't know. What... 
or maybe it's just what is it for jasko is right that it's not natural shortly after they feel like they're being followed walking towards us right now um i don't know if it's that same person but let's get out of here while I'm uncertain if they are or not, I do think it's smart to put some distance between them and that mysterious shelter. YouTubers Lucas and Marcus were filming a video when they discovered that someone was following them. They first noticed the stalker as they're driving down a dark road at night. Yeah, is he following? I don't know. Is he still following us? Bro. Yeah, I think he might be. He's still seeing yeah, him I, right th I think he might have turned off his headlights. Really? Yeah. He's still seeing him. They even consider calling the cops. Should I call Officer and you again? Huh? I don't know. Maybe you can meet us on the property and help us. Yeah. Like, and then they do. Officer Neil, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Um, do you think you can meet us on the property? I think someone's following us. Sure. Where are you guys at? Um, we're at our house again. Okay. The officer comes out accompanied by a dog and searches the grounds. All right, Officer Neil just arrived at the Dobre residence. I'm off duty doing some canine training, but received a call out for a suspicious person. Can do an exterior canvas with canine miso. The vehicle was last seen approaching the mountain, following the mountain. They find some evidence of an intruder. Oh, that right there. Assume he probably took off running and dropped it. Hold up, hold up. That's a money clip? I, I haven't touched it because of evidence. We're going to have someone impound that and process oh. it. But, uh. Okay. Looks like he could maybe drop that when he was running. Then, after hearing something outside, they finally see their stalker. Yo. <laughs> hold up. They call the officer back and he returns to check out the premises. Okay, he's right there. Oh, yeah, oh. Wait, wait, wait. Where, where, where is he? Do you see right him? There. Oh yeah, you see him? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Where is he? Get him. Officer, did you see him? He's not. Although they didn't catch the stalker, at least not in this video, it seems to me that he's cornered. But the real question is, what did this guy want? A YouTuber named Lightwatch captured this strange sea creature sighting on GoPro while exploring the beach with his friends. The shapeless yellow creature looks somewhat like a starfish, except it is too light and thin. <sighs> This thing is paper thin and seems to kick against the tide. The friends are smart enough not to handle the sea creature just in case it has some kind of deep sea toxins waiting to do them in. I have no idea what this weird thing is, but I wonder if it's part of something larger that got devoured. Give me your best guess as to what's been caught on tape. Valerie Brown posted her dog Ruthie's ghost sighting to YouTube in 2013. She writes in the video description, she barks incessantly as if someone is in there. Everyone said it's a ghost on Facebook. I'm not into paranormal, but people suggest I post this on YouTube. So here it is. As the video begins, the little dog is barking and growling, its tail wagging as it looks into the living room. No one is there, but the dog seems to be highly alert to some presence in the vicinity. The owner asks her dog who she's barking at, but of course, she just continues barking. Appearing as though she thinks it's obvious who she's barking at, the owner moves into the living room and the dog follows, running around to the front of the sofa. The dog's eyes are focused in on one spot, suggesting the invisible entity must be staying in place. In fact, when the dog moves to the front of the sofa, it seems to be barking at someone who's sitting on the sofa. Only there appears to be exactly zero people lounging there. The dog runs back to the opposite side of the sofa. And as the owner ends the video by telling Ruthie, again, that there's no one there, the dog barks in disagreement, continuing to appear in high alert. What does Ruthie see? Is it an evil spirit? Or is it friendly? My bet is on evil. 
as she certainly seems to be perturbed by its presence. There's more to this selfie than what meets the eye. Posted to TikTok, Dita and her friends pose for pictures, but someone else sneaks into the last shot. In the background, a girl is seen peering through a crack in the door. In other frames, she is not there, but then again she appears peeking around the corner. Is this just someone who wants to be included, or is this a ghost phantom photobombing? Over a year ago, I briefly touched on the saga of Joseph Chan Sloan, a YouTuber who for years was haunted by a spirit from 2011 to 2014, but I didn't get to cover his whole story. Three more videos in particular are worth getting into, but first I did some more research and discovered a blog with years worth of updates. Joseph first noticed an apparition within weeks of letting his girlfriend move into his apartment, so I suspect she may have brought something that had attached itself to her. Soon each of them felt constantly watched, especially in the shower of all places, and it got to the point where they both thought they were getting pranked by each other. But one day, as Joseph was taking a shower, he heard his girlfriend come into the bathroom. The topic was already on his mind, so he explained to her that he thought the apartment was haunted. But then the figure on the other side, the one who he thought was his girlfriend, disappeared mid-explanation. From that point on, Joseph began setting up his sole camera in different places to to document the spirit, and that's when things ramped up to the next level. On April 16th, 2012, Joseph announces out loud to whatever's listening that he's turning in for the night. So we're just gonna film this area. I had, like I said, my lighting issues were horrible, so I'm leaving some lights on this time. So if there is anything, hopefully we'll catch it. Anyways, guys, have a good night. See you in the morning. Orb activity begins at 2 minutes and 12 seconds, carries on for about 6 seconds, and then abruptly stops. The kitchen is eerily quiet for over 40 seconds, and then the stovetop burner turns on to its highest setting. This happens out of nowhere at the 3 minutes and 17 seconds mark. But at 3 minutes and 14 seconds, an orb shows up in front of the oven just 3 seconds before it turns on. Could this be the ghost in question caught on camera? Joseph was asleep so this event could have burned the whole place down if anything was still on the burner, which is maybe what this ghost was trying to do all along. A full seven months later, on November 28th of that same year, Joseph puts the camera up on a high ledge to show as much of his living room as possible, floor to ceiling. He again announces that he's going to bed and turns out the lights. It's 11.46 p.m. Anyways, uh, we'll see what we get and if we get anything. So uh, I'll see you all in the morning and... Uh Everything looks normal for roughly two minutes until a shadowy movement materializes over by the entertainment center. It's hard to notice even when circled, but when you do see it, it looks way out of place. I don't think it's camera pixelation because none of the other darker areas of the room are moving like this. And at approximately two minutes, a large lonesome orb floats upwards from that part of the room and disappears. Exactly 10 minutes later, at 2 minutes and 12 seconds, this speaker falls over and lands not too far from where the orb originated from. Obviously, no one is around to knock it over, so if this is fake, how was it done? On October 1st, 2013, Joseph made his final YouTube video, letting everyone know he has moved to a new apartment. He thinks that changing his location has stopped the spirit, but considering it may have attached itself to his girlfriend when she first moved in, I'm not so sure it worked. This part at 4 minutes and 30 seconds further proves my point. It could be his camera making a squeaking noise while being adjusted, but it sounds a lot like the laughter of a small child. But anyways, let's see if we can do it like this. There we go. And when you compare it to his normal laugh, it's definitely not the same voice. <laughs> And that's pretty much the last anyone's ever heard from him. The last update comes from his blog on July 25th, 2014, promising more videos that sadly never came. I don't know what happened to him. No one does. But suddenly dropping off at the height of your fame is not reassuring to say the least and makes me wonder if something terrible happened. Ever felt like you were being watched? 
these three boys definitely had reason to. Posted by the comics man to the Chills Narrator subreddit, the uploader writes, some dudes go to the Danakil Desert or a park. What is in the first frame? The video shows three kids getting ready to do some parkour, everyday kid stuff, but not far beyond in the background. Look at what is watching them from a nearby tree. The figure appears like a silhouette and gives off serious Slenderman vibes. The ominous way it's lurking there makes the otherwise innocent parkour video intensely creepy. You can vaguely see the figure again at a distance, at 1 minute and 43 seconds. It continues to stand there in the clump of trees, and again around 3 minutes in. What is this thing? Do these boys have a lurker? Nowhere is safe. No, this is not about a grizzly bear wadding into a river. This is about a human named Bear taking his show Man vs. Wild to the extreme and venturing out into Alligator River which is full of, you guessed it, alligators. If you're familiar with Man vs. Wild, you know that Bear Grylls thing is to take a dive into situations where he might not come out alive on the other side. Instead of cracking under pressure, he uses his survival experience and his sense of humor to walk viewers through the experience with him. Often with some educational bits thrown in here and there. Although the show's premise is founded on situations like this, the scary moment when Bear enters an alligator-ridden river is probably one of the most grating and fearsome ever on television. As Bear wades in, he nonchalantly tells viewers that alligators likely see humans as turtles or other prey, and they'll take you down like it's nothing. He would be a snap twig if the huge reptile was to get him, which it could at any moment. Bear looks frightened as he dives in, knife in hand. Viewers watch, holding their breath. As Bear crosses the murky waters, but thankfully he makes it across without incident. Breathe freely. Sometimes fear is all in the build-up. A YouTuber named Xander H takes a group of friends to an asylum that was abandoned long ago. They come across wall after wall of graffiti and begin to wonder if people could still be living in here after all. What does it say? They see you. That's like some anonymous Dude, it goes upstairs. Let's go up here. Go. There's not much to find on the first floor besides lots of written warnings and an overall bad feeling, so they decide to head upstairs. They don't even make it halfway before this happens to them. Something large and heavy stomps down the steps and sends the small group screaming for their lives. They don't get it on tape, but I still think this video is probably real because each member of the group is clearly on camera when they hear the running footsteps. I think there is a good chance this video is real and that they were chased out, maybe even by something supernatural. Redditor Twisted Desire doesn't know what to think after seeing this in her backyard. Upon receiving an alert that there was movement at her back door, this is what the notification pulled up. To me, it almost looks like the darkness is breathing. The Redditor says there were no outside lights on. Some think it's just fog. Others see a demonic face appearing there. Do you see it? I honestly see it too, but I think that may just be pareidolia. However, I do think there's an energy in the darkness making itself known. Is it good or bad? Only time will tell. These two are having the time of their lives, but not everyone has come to the party. Posted on TikTok by Vina Saputri 2, this scary video shows a pair having a grand old time swimming by a waterfall. But as the camera swings around, a creepy figure is seen solving King in the background. The mysterious figure lurks nearly out of sight along the rocks behind some overhanging brush. It looks like a young girl with dark hair wearing white. Why is it watching them? Is this about to crash their party? She certainly doesn't throw off any party vibes. More creepy stalker vibes in my opinion. What if you were trailing an ambulance and you saw this in the rear window? 
This terrifying ghoul was caught on camera by a vehicle following the ambulance. Apart from the spirit, there appears to be two human passengers in the back of the ambulance, likely EMTs. As the camera focuses in, the spirit's ghastly facial features appear for a moment before whoever's filming loses control of the camera, likely terrified about what they've just seen. What would you do if you saw this in the back of an ambulance? It's probably safest to back off. Sometimes those abandoned buildings that some urban explorers enter are not entirely abandoned. In fact, in some cases, they're the stomping grounds for the occult. Published to YouTube by Lego Papa TV in March of 2020. Papa was likely not expecting to be chased down by a hooded stranger performing a ritual in a house where lives have been taken, but that's exactly what happened. He writes, This is probably the scariest moment of my life I ever had. When moments like this happen, out of nowhere you put yourself in a situation that your mind goes blank. Papa explores the dark dwelling, which certainly gives off an aura that something terrible happened here. The house is utterly destroyed, littered with garbage, ransacked, covered with graffiti, and generally torn apart. As many in the comments point out, there were wet footprints at the doorstep, which may indicate that somebody recently entered the house, or was in fact there, or was still, in fact, there at the same time. And soon, Papa discovers he is not alone. As he wanders throughout the house, he hears noises. I know she slept upstairs. Hello, anybody here? He even sees a flashlight as someone searches for him while he hides out in a bathroom. For some reason, despite all this, he continues exploring the house, ending up in the basement. But when he hears distinctive footsteps overhead, he hightails it out of there. Likely because it dawns on him that if he was to remain in the basement, he'd be completely trapped. It seems he escaped just in time. As he runs off into the woods, he glances back to capture a hooded person on camera, standing on the porch steps. If he had left a minute later, who knows what might have happened. Most of the time, security cameras capture hours and hours of useless footage. Sometimes, however, they capture something like this. Published in September of 2013, YouTuber Rainy Schooler writes, A woman walks out of the darkness on a cold and wet night, in the mountains far from a busy road and no immediate neighbors. The security camera is aimed into the wilderness and you can see a tree to the right side of the screen but nothing else. That is until, right in the middle of the shot, the figure appears, walks and stops and turns awkwardly not turning with her feet but just twisting with her upper body. Then she walks forward again before taking a sharp right turn and veering out of sight. The video moves forward about 45 seconds until the woman is seen winding around the tree and then is spotted back in the middle again, looking off into the wilderness, moving in the same strange start-stop fashion that she was doing before. A different security camera captures the woman walking up towards the house. Out of sight, it's not clear what she did alongside of the home, but she is soon seen again walking haphazardly away and around the same area near the tree in the back. She did this for 10 minutes, the video notes. Many in the comments think this woman must have been on something, but in the middle of nowhere, what do you think? I'm just glad they had security cameras so the homeowners were aware of her activities. Vorkuta was a coal mining settlement during the Soviet era. It has since become a semi-deserted wasteland. Published by Vagabond, this adventure seeker went to check out the ghost town at the end of the world. Here is roughly more than 200 people. On the background of such amount of abandoned buildings, an active mine looks surrealist. Traveling there by train, the only accessible means of transport to the area, he encounters the first steam engine that ever appeared in the area in 1944. The once thriving city was served by 13 coal mines in its heyday. 
where workers received a good salary and twice the pay they might back home due to the added northern coefficient pay directly across from clean bright offices or empty derelict buildings. Other empty structures are topped with massive piles of snow. Atop an enormous nine-story building is a phrase that translates to glory to the conquerors of Arctic territories. Vagabond also takes in the coal miners' quarters, located on the Vorkuta River embankment. Would you be able to live in this half-abandoned Arctic town? You'd better learn to love the cold. What would you do if a poltergeist became more and more aggressive? Published by D-Dog Michael in January of 2022, this scary video follows this paranormal explorer through an abandoned building. Michael first encounters some unsettling sounds like bottles trembling. He thinks it's just the wind at first, but the sound becomes louder and more aggressive. This makes him run back downstairs. As they continue to explore, a window panel slides open, and later he hears regular banging noises in the hallway. When he goes to investigate, the banging noises get louder and more frequent. As he approaches a door, he asks the spirit if he can go in and look around, but the spirit seems to answer in the negative. <laughs> He runs off but returns to the same door, and as he's reaching toward the knob, he hears something inside. Finally, inside the room, there doesn't appear to be anyone around, but he hears another sound. Out in the hallway again, he reaches for a second door, and a loud noise is heard behind him. Later, he is in a dark bathroom when chaos again breaks out behind him. He continues into a bedroom, and then he sees this shape in the window. Michael decides it's time to leave this place before whatever haunts it won't let him go. Something has crawled up this poor woman's leg and refuses to come out. Her friend almost has it by the tail, but then at the last second it does the unthinkable and burrows even deeper. The scared animal probably would have gone up way higher if she didn't stand up in time and let gravity force it back down. She is either trying not to scream or lose her lunch as her friend tries again, this time wrapping its tail around his index finger. He manages to extract a giant rat and quickly puts it back in its container. The rat looks used to being handled, and this is probably the only thing that kept it from trying to bite and scratch its way out. A YouTuber named Vicky Short offers this creepy home CCTV video as paranormal evidence of a haunted house. It's 4.26 in the morning when a scary event happens that is caught on CCTV, two books falling off the shelf, seemingly with no one around. Vicky says the haunted household objects moved on their own, but the alleged paranormal activity happens in a corner that the camera can't really see very well, so I'm not sure if it's real or fake. This could be a ghost moving the books, or it could be someone moving them off camera. But when the two lights mysteriously flash from a surge of energy across from where the books fell, it makes them suspect that paranormal activity is occurring after all. Sean learned about summoning Bloody Mary from a friend. He thought about it for a couple days and then decided to try it for himself to see what happens. First, he tries to summon her with the lights on and he isn't surprised when that method doesn't work. Next, he tries it with the lights off, which is something that he is a little hesitant to do and with good reason too. He says her name three more times and this is what he sees. God. The hunched over figure behind him gives him a startle and Sean turns out the lights just to make the terrifying scene go away. When he turns the lights back on, she has vanished. 
Just like in other videos, the doorknob gets jammed as he tries to leave and then it suddenly releases. He retreats into the main area of his house and the video ends. I will say that this video could very well be fake. Maybe Bloody Mary is really just his sister or someone else he knows. His reaction seems a little off too, kind of like it could have been staged. But then again, he might have been really frightened and just trying to keep his cool for the camera. It's hard to tell for certain. The Waverly Hills Sanitarium in Kentucky has been condemned since the early 60s, though the spirits of its former inhabitants are thought to still roam its rubble-filled Halls. Lindsay Rogers leads a ghost hunting team through the dark asylum, and it isn't long before they are engulfed by paranormal activity. What the f Holy sh it sounds like a door opens, and you can see Lindsay looks right, but the door is still shut. There's a second banging noise that almost sounds like a body hitting the ground. Though without more video footage, we'll never know for sure. While unknown sewer creatures are certainly scary, here's one real life known creature you certainly wouldn't want to run into while peering into the sewage drain behind your home. Lou Cam published this skin crawlingly creepy video in December of 2016. He seems to be lying right on the road in front of his home, where he tells his audience that he thinks he has an alligator in his sewer. It's pretty clear that he's telling the truth. As soon as the camera is angled into the darkness, sure enough a shot into the depths below spies a pair of alligator eyes and the undeniable view of the scaly monster just lurking there. A bright green toy ball inches in front of its chompers. This is no laughing matter. Although I doubt you were laughing at the sight of that frightening creature in the first place. To put this in perspective, an average adult American alligator is 13 feet long and 790 pounds. While they are generally timid around humans, they will attack and have been known to take people's lives. Just recently, a Florida woman disappeared while out walking her dogs and her arm was found in the stomach of a massive 12 foot alligator who called a nearby swamp home. Alligators attack large prey by clamping down on it and dragging it into the water to drown it. Doesn't sound like a pleasant way to pass away. I'd advise Lou to get off the road and away from the sewer before it's too late. Zack from The Adventures of Zack and Bee is sure that a wild animal is in his attic. It's dark up there so he takes the camera with him for light. The noise coming from his attic is unlike anything I've ever heard before. It sounds like a baleful combination of scratching, growling, and howling. Zack doesn't bother going any deeper and I really can't blame him. Unfortunately for him, it sounds like something follows him on the way out. Well, I don't see anything, so let's, uh, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. An unseen voice says don't and I think it also says get out of here too. Obviously, this is a real human voice and not an animal after all, and whoever was making that noise remains a mystery. A Russian YouTuber known as Tret shared a video online of him wandering around through a local forest equipped with a video camera. Because the video is in Russian, I'm not entirely sure what he is saying during the video. But I'm going to assume he is saying he is filming in the forest to see if he can capture anything of interest on camera. And if that is what he's saying, then he got exactly what he wished for. Wow. 
What the heck is that? It looks like a human face, but its eyes are glowing and you can kind of see it, it almost looks like a, a skull with glowing eyes. And what the heck it's doing down here is a question I do not have the answer to. It looks like it, it's at the bottom of a well and notices that it's being filmed and just sort of looks straight up into the camera. That is just terrifying. And in classic fashion, the cameraman runs away way immediately after seeing this which is totally understandable given the circumstances. Instead of looking like some sort of paranormal entity, I personally think that this looks like some sort of skeleton because of the shape of its head and I can almost make out some bones. Interestingly though, this skeleton-like creature seems to have dark glowing purple eyes which would be strange considering how skeletons are not alive. So what exactly is this creature that Tret saw? As for now, it remains a mystery. Prepat Amusement Park is an abandoned park in the Chernobyl region. It was abandoned before its planned grand opening after the meltdown that contaminated the area in 1986. Posted to TikTok by Edwin Calderon608, this TikToker is wondering what this person is doing in the highly contaminated park. The deserted ferris wheel looks particularly gloomy, standing still with no one on it. That is, until the viewer zooms in on Google Earth to see a male figure standing in the service box beside the ride. The man isn't armored against the radiation that still pollutes the area. He is completely unprotected against it, leaving me to wonder if he's perhaps superhuman. Anyone want to risk a visit to ask him? No, that'd be a terrible idea. Images sometimes crop up on Google Maps Street View that are incredibly suspect. This Google capture is a bit more supernatural. Published to YouTube by The Hidden Underbelly 2.0 in August of 2018, this image was captured at Martha Chapel Cemetery in Huntsville, Texas. As one of the country's oldest cemeteries, Martha Chapel was built in the early 19th century. According to travel guide expert Dana Goolsby, the road leading to the cemetery is nicknamed Demon's Road. It earned this nickname from alleged encounters with the spirits that haunt the area. According to Goolsby, visitors to the cemetery sometimes find large handprints on their vehicles. Is something supernatural making its mark? According to the Houston Chronicle, the Google Maps Street View image was uploaded to YouTube in August of 2018, where it started trending. The image shows headstones near a fence line, surrounded by trees. Behind one of these trees hides a ghostly little girl. The grayish tint of her skin gives her a phantom glow as she peers around the corner of the tree. But wait, that's not the only haunting figure in view. Behind the fence line walking amongst tall tombstones is a dark cloaked figure. The phantom being definitely looks out of place. Maybe the cloaked figure is seeking this girl. We hope it doesn't find her. Going to medical school presents many challenges, high tuition, debt, and the occasional wild animal encounter. If you were coming up the steps and saw a black panther animal barreling at you, you would almost certainly run. Big mistake. It's already in motion and your panic would trigger its instincts. You're not getting far. The panther starts to go into someone's room, but something makes it think twice about going in. It probably doesn't like being cornered with one exit and chooses not to go further inside. The college in Karnataka, India went into lockdown as a result of this scary CCTV video. Yeah, I guess that would do it. I should point out that this isn't all that uncommon in schools. Across India and I found some other creepy videos too. Here's a leopard at a college in Nainital. Thankfully, the only prey he finds is a car passing by. But imagine a college student looking at their feet walking along this fence. They'd never see it coming. I just hope everybody's alright. After experiencing paranormal activity in her home, Beth Ann Thorson bought some Nest cameras. Then she captured these strange flashes, which she shared on Facebook. The flashes are seen again in a second video.
some in the comments suggest they could be flashing in Morse code, but after checking with a military friend of the family, the couple nixed that theory. Beth Ann also checked her phone's providers, potential faults, and updates, but nothing explains why the flashing occurred, and it's particularly alarming that it happened on each phone individually. Many in the comments believe the spirits are trying to communicate with them. Others think they're just letting them know they're there. Well, my first thought is that it could be an amber alert, which would impact all phones in the area. I agree that it may be some form of communication from the beyond through the phone's energy. Whatever it is, it's highly unsettling. A ghost hunting channel in Portugal called Supernatural Persecution is attempting to solve an unexplained mystery that's been haunting locals for years. According to legend, this haunted place in the dark, creepy woods is where a bride-to-be once threw herself onto train tracks after discovering her fiancé was unfaithful. Ghost sightings have occurred ever since and few dare to explore here because so much has already gone wrong. While walking down the long forgotten path, flanked by scary woods on both sides, they think they hear something. Scary voices and other weird noises from within the haunted woods. The ghost bride is near as the ghost hunters squint into the darkness. A mysterious figure, an apparition, crosses their path and leaves them absolutely terrified. The possible sighting of a ghost wearing a white bridal gown, well creepy, could also be someone in black clothes holding a white sheet over their head to create the illusion of a long flowing headdress. It's too far away to tell for sure. Likewise, this alleged ghost voice sounds more like one of their friends rather than something supernatural wailing in anguish. But even though I'm not fully convinced, this paranormal evidence has thousands convinced that it's real, so maybe I'm wrong. A YouTuber named MBJ Reports has a pest in his yard that has been bothering his dogs, so he decides to stick a garden hose down into the ground and flood it out of its den. Now they are waiting with a net to catch the pest and dispose of it if necessary. It isn't long before he sees two glowing eyes appear out of a second hole in the distance. This appears to be no ordinary pest, but rather a monster instead. It's something. I don't know what that is. It remains frozen in the beam of the flashlight for a while, hoping that he will leave it alone. Then the creature drops back into the ground below with a shriek. MBJ Report has had enough and decides to pull the creature up by its tail. He pulls back a red hand with a deep cut, which I unfortunately can't show here and the video ends. I notice that the creature doesn't really move its limbs at all and possibly looks like a toy, though I can be wrong. Even still, that doesn't explain the glowing red eyes though. So if you think you can tell if this is fake or real, then be sure to tell me how you know. These underground tunnels in Manchester, England were once used to escape air raids in the 1940s. Countless people huddled for their lives down here in mass, and their collective fear is thought to have left a haunting impression ever since. Now a YouTube channel called Dark Arts TV investigates these tunnels to see what he can discover with his own eyes. It isn't long before his blue light light shines upon a rail thin figure standing at a bizarre angle. They are a good distance away, but it looks like they might be wearing baggy trousers and a vest with oversized sleeves, reminiscent of the 40s era. If this is not a ghost to you, then what do you think this is? As he turns the corner, his camera picks up what appears to be a pair of human legs hanging out a small hole in the wall. <laughs> What's most terrifying is how Dark Arts TV doesn't seem to notice the legs at the time, as if they weren't visible in real life. And to further back this theory, 
When you pause at 24 minutes and 28 seconds, the beam of his flashlight seems to move through them. Finally, as they prepare to leave, they encounter this shadowy face directly behind them. It doesn't look like a person per se, but rather the fading memory of someone who was present, now doomed to repeat a terrifying moment forever. Eyebrows, a hairline, the chin, you can even see at the bottom here, if you can just catch the end of my thumb, where I'm covering now, there you can see the line of his neck as his head is bent round the corner. The David Livingstone Centre is a reportedly haunted museum in Glasgow, Scotland. As these paranormal investigators are about to discover for themselves, they aren't even finished setting up their equipment when the poltergeist activity begins. First, something falls in the darkness, and then a piece of equipment flips over in front of them. They go to where the other object fell over and find one of the velvet ropes has come unhooked by itself. Since we didn't see it happen on video though, I guess we just have to take their word. Later, they head over to the chapel area where they think they see something move, but it's too dark to tell. As if it's a person? Yeah. Is it you? When they take a picture of the corner of the chapel, however, this image of a shadow person is what they find. Fishing is supposed to be a relaxing pastime. Kick back with your pole and a cold one, and you're set for a pleasant afternoon spent out on the water. But this video, posted on Reddit by Caesar4321, reveals that fishing can sometimes take an unexpected turn. The clip shows a lucky fisherman reeling in his prize catch, a nice little fish which he pulls out onto the banks of the pond in order to remove it from the line. But as he steps closer to his catch, something pops up out of nowhere. Bet you didn't see that coming. Redditor iMusker commented, They are fishing in literal croc swamps, like they aren't asking for chomps. Asking for it or not, alligator incidents are on the rise in Florida. Moral of the story? Don't disturb those muddy waters, or your bones may be snapped in half by some seriously powerful jaws. If you're looking to have night terrors for weeks and jump scares for days, have I got the Scream Fest for you. This clip was posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Exploring with Eric. In the video, the crew is exploring an abandoned house. The interior is in disarray. Fresh markings are painted on the walls. As they attempt to communicate with spirits in the home, one crew member asks the spirit to knock once if he wants them to leave. No answer. But he asks once again to knock before they leave to let them know he is there. He demonstrates by knocking on the wall, and this time the spirit answers. Listen closely, his response is distant, but you can hear it distinctly. The spirit knocks back, and hopefully this video is proof that the crew lived to tell the tale. Can you do that? Can you do that? Okay. Humans aren't the only beings with the apparent ability to teleport. Published by The Buzz in January of 2015, this mysterious video appears to show a canine teleportation. The video, filmed during a street race on an empty motorway in Chile, shows a dog suddenly materializing out of nowhere. In the clip, two cars speed down the track as the camera swings after them. Following the race, a dog suddenly appears in their wake, crossing the road. In slow motion, the dog appears out of thin air in the middle of the road somehow avoiding the two cars, neither of which budge at all in their straight shot down the track. Did this dog teleport here as many in the comments seem to believe? Whether or not he did, I think Pog Squatch sums up our sentiment. Scotty needs to be more careful when he beams you down. That was too close for comfort. Things aren't what they seem in this scary video. Redditor Amanda Loves Rufus One posted this clip of her neighbor's house. Watch the counter closely. Something neon blue seems to escape from the counter. Watch again.
It looks like a flame bursting upward, but it disappears within an instant. Those in the comments seem to agree, with some saying it looks like gas igniting. Could this be a gas leak? Or as others suggest, a camera glitch? I think these homeowners should check their carbon monoxide and gas detectors, just in case. A Reddit user named Ponzi Flaunts hears something outside of his home that leaves him too afraid to move. Listen to this part and tell me if you hear a creepy woman's voice carrying a twisted tune. The haunting melody repeats over and over again, growing louder each time. There's no way that this is an animal. One person commented that this sounds like it could be an opera, and I can't say that they're wrong. Listen again. Like, what is that? Then you hear what sounds to me like a cry for help. And the singing never returns. If I lived in that house, I would be immediately locking all the doors and windows. In August of 2020, a YouTuber named Ryan Privy launched a solo ghost hunting expedition in room 423 of Irwin Street Inn in California, which is said to be haunted by a rowdy ghost, three of them to be exact. He concentrates on getting a ghost on tape and soon he's surrounded by questionable noises, a strange tapping that sounds like it could be from the other room at first. But later, at 22 seconds to be precise, the weird sounds have graduated to the other side of his door. And then another clear knocking noise, like something coming from inside the wall. The ghost continues traveling around the room until Ryan suspects it's now at the window. Are you scratching on the window? It confirms its presence each time it makes a sound, and it makes a variety of sounds in a number of locations, so I think these scary noises are coming from an apparition in the same room as Ryan. A YouTuber named Rifat claims that going to this haunted place in Palestine proved to be a psychological undoing. Let's see what was so scary in this paranormal exploration gone wrong. He seems to have trouble keeping his balance and stumbles backwards twice for no reason. يا شباب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا شباب وانت جرب الله يقطع شر يوم تمت بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم at this point, I think he realizes there's no way he should be falling three times in five minutes and thinks a ghost could be near. As he is trying to decide if this is really happening or just his imagination, some of the best paranormal EVP evidence ever recorded is caught on camera. <laughs> Loud and scary screaming noises are coming from the woods. The screams of a human, most certainly not an animal. <laughs> he doesn't investigate the noise because this could be a spirit setting up a trap that he is too smart to fall for. I'm glad he didn't go any further. If he had gone any deeper into the forest to see what it was, then this scary video might not ever have been uploaded. I have a feeling that he narrowly avoided getting ambushed by some group of bandits or even something paranormal. Florida resident Candace Spivey was shopping at Target when she was approached by a stranger. This man started a polite conversation with her, but something was wrong. The same man had done the same thing to her earlier at a grocery store. Do you remember running into me in the grocery store? No, hey, where are you going? Come back. Hey, get this guy. Stop him. Stop this guy. Stop him. Stop that guy. Call the cops. Call the cops on him. Call the cops. As soon as she confronts the man on it, he takes off and she follows him out of the store. Apparently, this was a registered offender who secretly recorded women. This just goes to show you never know who the real person is behind a polite stranger. 
Hopefully this man stopped his horrible actions after being publicly confronted like this. A person thinks they see something strange. Dash in front of their car late at night on a dark road. A playback of the tape has their suspicions confirmed by a totally bizarre dash cam encounter caught on video. A fleeting figure standing under a street lamp runs out and disappears way too fast to be a human. He claims this video is unexplainable paranormal evidence, but I suspect it might simply be a trick of the light, not exactly a lens flare per se, because there is no sunlight to reflect, or maybe that is the right term, but you know what I mean. Basically a ray of light bending towards him to create the illusion of a phantom ghost. So while there is definitely a light anomaly, I'm not exactly sure it's paranormal. Tell me what you think he's caught on tape, because it might be a reflection and nothing more. This is one of the world's most haunted hotels. It was a naval hospital during the 40s and once housed a morgue. Some of its most infamous guests never left. Published by Kelsey Davies in January of 2022, this paranormal investigator and her mom visited the haunted hotel. This is what they found. Kelsey first hears a child's voice as she's wandering the empty hall. I came in. I just heard a little kid. They continue to explore and hear more unexplained noises. After setting up a paranormal device, it starts to go off. They use copper dousing rods to ask the spirits questions. They discover that one is named Lorraine. A short while later, Kelsey asks the young girl she's speaking with to trigger the device, and she does. They then enter a creepy hallway, and using a Kinect app on the phone, they see a figure standing there. Later, she says she saw a man standing by the door out of the corner of her eye, one that she's seen before in the hotel. You could communicate with anyone. No negative entities, please. Oh my god, I just saw a man. There's a man down here. I think it's the same one. And then the nearby paranormal device goes off. Is this ghost getting nearer? Here's hoping this spirit isn't stalking her. Did a spirit just drift out of this possessed doll? Published by Paranormal Nightmares in March of 2022, the uploader writes, my daughter said in the night our cat scratched on her bedroom door. He never does this. We checked security footage and captured this. This video shows a strange gray mass floating out from one of these creepy dolls. It looks like smoke or mist. The cat obviously sees it and soon tears off. Did we just witness a spirit exiting? Whatever it is, it made this guy a scaredy cat. Working from home has its perks, but this might deter some. Posted to the very spooky video subreddit by External Tangents, this redditor was home on a gloomy day when he heard some strange noises. At his door, the noise sounds like distant clicking. He opens his hallway door to investigate. Out in the hallway, you can hear whining and slamming. It sounds like it's coming from upstairs. Then as he looks up to find an outside door open, it clanks loudly. He's found the culprit. At the top of the stairs, the exit door to the roof is open. Heading out onto the roof, he finds no one there. Although the mystery is solved, some think it's odd that the exit alarm isn't blaring. They also find the sounds and visuals quite spooky. If you heard this while you were alone in your apartment, would you have the nerve to investigate? I'd be looking for a new place to live. 
Have you ever felt like you were being watched? Published to YouTube by Mo Vlogs in July of 2018. The CCTV footage will spook even the bravest among us. While most of this video is super upbeat, about 10 minutes in is where the terror enters. It's then that Mo claims that he was being watched the day prior while taping his vlog and he has the CCTV footage to prove it. He says there was a spooky person in a mask following him all day. Although Mo admits he thinks it was a prank, he pulls up the CCTV footage of this spooky lurker to show viewers what he had to contend with. The lurker appears to be wearing a black hooded robe and a white mask, walking at a gilded gate. He is seen crossing a parking lot, though it's not clear from whence he came from or where he is going. Mo says the footage was filmed that morning, not the day prior, so he surmises that the only person the lurker could be is his security guard or his mom. Prank or not, this haunting image is sure to give you nightmares. Kazi is with Danny Dorito and Ali H to find evidence of a spirit that they think is haunting not just this house, but most of the surrounding forest as well. They come across a ritual that someone left behind for some reason, possibly in a hurry. They figure out how to complete it and hear a noise shortly after reciting these ancient words, which I'm hoping someone who happens to practice magic might be able to recognize and tell us more. Rolf? Nyap, row. They decide to leave everything behind and are well on their way back home when something ahead interrupts their hike. Hello? Holy f you saw that, right? You saw at four minutes, I can see what appears to be a normal pair of white tennis shoes that kind of looks out of place, so I'm not exactly convinced that this is real. A father and son are bonding outdoors when they make a discovery in a puddle that's so bizarre they have to bring it home and make a video of what they've caught on camera. So I kind of looked at the little creatures that were in there and at my first glance they're round and have a tail just like a tadpole. The mysterious creatures have a long tail and two eyes that are especially visible. At 1 minute and 22 seconds, baby horse shoe crabs were my guess, but when I googled a picture it looked different. So what do you think they are? Wanda Chance is riding down the road when she sees a stranger who looks out of place. He is wearing a floor-length black cloak and holds his hands in front of him, possibly making a symbol. Wanda is suspicious of him and they drive by again. I think he looks like he might just be a regular teenager, sporting a gothic clothing style and look, but Wanda notices a long and pointy ear at 1 minutes and 14 seconds and questions if he is really a person at all. What do you think about this sighting? Sure, it's strange, but is this just a person with an uncommon fashion style for the area or a visitor from somewhere far off trying their best to fit in? While hiking through the Great Smoky Mountains in North Carolina, YouTuber Mr. Backyard Birding hears this bizarre roar. It sounds almost mechanical, but the YouTuber says it is the sound of a mythical once extinct giant creature who is said to roam the mountains. The sound is heard repeatedly as the YouTuber continues through the forest. While some are mystified, others are sure this sound is not mythical but rather common. Having listened to some bull elk calls, I have to agree, but if I didn't know any better, this would shake me to my core. This video was taken in 2001 by the Mills family while hiking Marble Mountain in Maine. Their leader, Jim Mills, zooms in on what could be a humanoid watching them across a pond. Can you at us? I don't see it. Moving now. The tree is? It's to the right of him. It's walking that way. Do you see? Okay. see the King's Castle? Yeah. He's dead. Kind of little. As it approaches the group, we get a better glimpse at its strange shape. 
Even from this distance, its shoulders look broad, and it has a powerful lower body with arms that come down to its knees. It does not look like a person. Its arms are way too big. Look at how long the hands hang down to the... At 6 minutes and 9 seconds, the creature seems to point at them and wave its fist. My theory is that, assuming this is real, the creature is guarding its only water source and telling them to come no closer. You may think that this creature looks somewhat small from this distance, but considering the fact that his camera is zoomed all the way in, it's actually giant, but it could also simply be CGI. Here's a freaky sighting. Imagine you're playing guitar with your friends when something decides to pay a visit. Published by Navigon in November of 2007, this creepy video shows some dudes practicing in a bedroom. One is playing the guitar, the other is singing, and the third is recording the session. But as it turns out, there's a fourth uninvited guest nearby. <laughs> As they continue to play, the friend filming the session takes a broader shot of the singer, and towering in the doorway behind him is a seemingly tall man, standing sentry and staring into the room. In the comments of this video, David F.E. writes, It's a humanoid being about 7 feet tall, not a ghost. Many people have reported them before. Whatever the case, in the moment, the friend filming doesn't spot the humanoid. The three continue their session without any reaction, and the next time the cameraman pans over, the figure is gone. They must have spotted the humanoid later in the playback, a humanoid that was so close he could have touched them. What would you do if you saw this over your friend's shoulder? Hardly anyone wants to see a clown at the best of times. Guaranteed, no one wants to see an uninvited clown on their doorstep. Published to YouTube in August of 2019, this creepy clown is everyone's unwelcome guest. Residents of San Antonio, Texas, likely double-check their locks after a video of this creepy visitor was captured on ring surveillance footage. The clown was said to be loitering outside people's homes in the middle of the day saying trick or treat. Again, it was August at the time. The ring footage captures the man wearing a clown mask approaching a home around 1 p.m. The anonymous homeowner wasn't present at the time of the clown's visit. The security video was shared to neighborhood groups, sending a collective chill down everyone's spine. Resident Ernest Marquez sums up the fear, saying, What his intentions were, I don't know. The uncertainty, the unknown is everyone's greatest fear. Hopefully this case was broken before it was too late. Damon and Sean are walking around outside when they come across a huge open sewer pipe in the middle of nowhere. They don't think much of it until something weird starts to happen. I think there's like somebody down there. What the Dude, it's creeping me out. Sean goes to the other side of the pipe to see if he can determine the source of the banging. Soon, he comes back and says that he couldn't see anything on the other end. Yeah, but usually there's like two at a time. See, like, did you hear that? If there is any technical reason for a sewer pipe to be banging in sets of two like that, then I'd like for someone to please explain. Otherwise, there's no way to tell who or what was making all that racket down there. When YouTuber Exploration Unknown visited a haunted house built on cursed land, he heard a female ghost speak. Let's hear what she has to say. Now, to the young lady, can you tell me your name? Now, look in the right-hand window of the door. It looks like someone is standing there and then moves to the side. Now, to the young lady, can you tell me your name? The spirit repeats her name many times. <laughs> Abigail wants to be free. Say, Annie. Free me. When he asks what happened to Abby, he gets a response. Annie, what happened to you? Four. Five. Four. 
To me, it sounds like she passed away during some sort of battle. I'm sure she has a reason to stick around here after, but it probably wasn't to be paranormally investigated. What do you expect to encounter inside a morgue but the passed away? Published by Kay in September of 2016, this exploration of a haunted abandoned morgue turns cold. Kay and crew arrive at the morgue at night, wandering around it and find a way in. They enter through a piece of metal exterior that has been ripped off. While exploring, they come across the beds where the people are examined. Oh my god, that's the death beds. <laughs> Wait, mate. That's not from the <laughs> death beds. <laughs> They also spot a creepy message on the wall that reads, You're not supposed to be here. We will get you. In another room, dripping in red liquid, is the word beware. Why does it say beware? What the f is oh this? What? Beware of what? Let's see. Down a hallway, they find a mattress on the floor. Apparently, someone is calling this mortuary home. Is that a microwave? They then come across what might be the crematorium, or maybe just where the passed on are kept waiting. Oh my god, mate, what are these doors? What is kept in there? At one point, when they've just entered another room, one of the crew turns quickly around and pushes his friends back the other way. That's when they hurry out of the morgue. Kay explains that what he saw in the last room was the shadow of a man on the floor. When he entered, the man got up and glass started cracking. Was it the man whose bed they saw in the hallway? Or was this a ghost that was about to cause true havoc? This live broadcast captures what appears to be an impossible error on camera. Watch the news anchor on the left and see what happens. Here it is again in slow motion in case you missed it. Everything from a hologram to an alien has been proposed, but I guess it could be some kind of camera malfunction. Maybe someone who knows more about cameras can let me know if this is a technical malfunction or not. Clay of a paranormal YouTube channel called Time to Play TV is exploring the old Hamilton County Jail in Jasper, Florida on a ghost hunting investigation. Built in 1893, this haunted jail was in operation for 101 years. It is the resting place of many who are believed to have returned as wailing apparitions, slamming doors shut and turning on the lights. Some sections have been remodeled, and this guest bedroom is where you'll find a creepy possessed doll. As they are moving the creepy doll from its crib to the bed, a bizarre shadow goes ahead of them and disappears under the bed. Anyway, they sit her up and set up paranormal equipment to better investigate, and that's when the situation goes from strange to beyond creepy. 4 minutes and 27 seconds into the video is when they are able to convince a ghost to communicate through EVP equipment. Are you okay with us being in this room right now? Yes. Yes. Another yes. Yeah. I don't think these EVPs are pre recorded messages on a fake ghost hunting app because the scary voices continue to make sense and answer very specific questions in real time. Do you know who we are? Like, can you tell us our names? Yes. Yes. A little ghost girl's voice says something I can't understand. And as the creepy doll moves by itself, the scary voice of a little ghost girl screams right before the doll falls over. Oh my oh. gosh. The doll just That's fell been down. up for her. They sit the cursed toy upright and resume the paranormal experiment. If that was a spirit, can you make one of the uh, meters go off? Oh, whoa, whoa. Seen it? What? Oh, okay, my meter. Many of the paranormal EVP they've caught on camera has been the voice of a child, so they logically infer that this could be a spirit of a child trapped inside of the doll. Are you a young spirit? Are you a child? Look, you see that? 
Somehow the doll creepily nods with agreement that it's possessed by a little girl, and then it presents them with some of the best paranormal evidence of the night. Well, I'm pretty sure that was you uh, that maybe moved the doll and did the K2 meter. Now we'd like to... Whoa! <laughs> Oh my, the K2 meter just fell over. Somehow, upon the very mention of her paranormal equipment, her ghost meter, which is right by the doll's hand, falls over on its own, but the doll remains sitting up. Whatever this is, I think it's definitely paranormal and feeding off of their fearful energy. Oh my, this is so creepy. Whoa, okay. <laughs> This time they put the doll leaning back at an angle where it's impossible for it to fall forward by itself and yet as they continue to speak, the toy leans forward and turns towards them as if making eye contact. Who's making that doll move? I am. Is that I am? The more they talk, the stronger it becomes and after a while the doll is falling clear off the bed. It's too bad that we couldn't get a wider angle to prove that the ghost hunters weren't touching anything when it fell over. I feel like Clay could have ran his hand under the pillow to make it fall over, but they sound genuinely surprised so I doubt it. Also, this final piece of paranormal evidence is enough proof in my mind that the Hamilton County Jail is quite haunted. They wait for their equipment to register movement and get nothing until they challenge it. Don't be shy or scared. Maybe you're scared and you don't want to do it because you're scared. Mm -hmm. Oh! That works a lot. Oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> I think this is real because if you listen close, it beeps as soon as he says the word scared. Maybe you're scared and you don't want to do it because you're scared. Mm -hmm. oh. The historic Jefferson Hotel is a hotbed for paranormal activity, and this is one of the creepiest pieces of evidence yet. Published by the hotel in March of 2021, a security camera captured this incident in one of the hotel's hallways. In the clip, a guest of the hotel is seen looking for her husband. She asks a couple walking by if they've seen him. As they're talking, a deep guttural growl is heard. They all hear it and jump back. You can see their reaction here. Well, jumped back as if something was like yelling at them down the hall. You can see they were all scared. The couple walks away while the first guest is left alone with whatever made this noise. The hotel's caretaker says that the male guest seen in this video asked him where the speaker was. The man thought the hotel was in the business of ambiance, so had hidden speakers in the floor to add to the haunting atmosphere. The problem is that he was wrong. After being asked this, the caretaker, knowing there weren't any speakers, pulled up video from a second camera at the end of the hallway in the direction of the growl. This is what he found. So, did you hear that growl? The growl sounds very animalistic, almost demonic. Is this one of the many demons that haunt the halls of the Jefferson? Or is someone playing tricks? Two friends sneak into a large abandoned house in Sellersburg, Indiana and take a look around. They don't go into much detail about the local legends aside from mentioning this place has a long haunted history that dates back three decades, so they should be ready for anything. Most of the rooms are littered with nothing but rotting garbage, but a couple spaces look to be somewhat organized and even have furniture, so they start calling out to anyone who might be inside. Hello? Is anybody here? It isn't long before someone hears their calls and silently responds. Dude, this is creepy. Oh my god, get the f out! Get the f out! Oh my god! Oh my god! A tall figure wearing a Michael Myers mask passes by the doorway without a sound. Obviously, Michael Myers is a Hollywood legend and not a real person, but that doesn't mean there isn't someone who idolizes him a little too much. This could be a fake video or maybe this is an imitator who dresses like this to keep intruders out of their home, in which case that blade might be real. Christian Garcia and a couple of his friends are riding around on a motorcycle late at night through the streets of Mexico and are enjoying their night 
when suddenly they come across something absolutely terrifying and startling on the road. Right here. This seems to just be a really sort of like isolated road in the middle of nowhere. It's clearly nighttime. And this individual is just sitting out here, staring off into the distance. I wish they would have asked if they needed help. Instead, just sort of take off. But I guess they do decide they should turn around, which is the right thing to do, so respect to these guys. Hola, señora. ¿Qué dice? ¿Eh? ¿Quién es? ¿Qué, qué le pasa? ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se llama? Está en medio de la nada, no. ¿Le pasa algo? If anybody uh, who speaks Spanish could please translate what was said in this conversation, but I, I assume they were asking if they were all right, to which they get no response from the stranger, and I think eventually just decide, yes, to just take off. Even when Christian and his friends drive back to where the mysterious stranger is sitting down on the side of the road, it doesn't really seem as though they are trying to talk to her too much, and I guess it makes sense because she is a complete stranger, and you never know exactly what a stranger is capable of. I just hope this person is okay and isn't suffering from any problems, but if they are, I hope they will be okay in due time. This pair of videos will send you running. Posted to TikTok by Jen Barari, something is stalking around outside Jen's home in this first clip. Holy sh! Did you guys hear that? That was crazy. What made these noises? Yo, I swear to God, that wasn't me. The first whisper sounds like help to me. That was crazy. <gasps> but I'm not sure what the other noises are. Jen's second video is even freakier. Upon returning home in the night, she sees this. But a security camera captures something else. Many in the comments are freaked out that this spirit is mimicking her. It looks very much like Jen. Same length of hair and everything. It even kind of sounds like her in the first video. So is this spirit preparing itself to become her? I for one think so. Both clips are super suspect. This deep web video features a disembodied head in a skeleton mask hovering over a single candle. He speaks in Spanish and uses a voice changer, but his tone makes it clear that he has only the worst intentions in mind. Unfortunately, other than the general creepy atmosphere of this video, I have no idea what is being said here. Listen to what he says and help me translate if you can. <laughs> Something about this makes me think that he is either making a confession or telling us about future plans. Let me know if I am right about this hunch and if you think this video is real. You expect to see kids throwing temper tantrums at McDonald's, not grown adults. But this video goes to show that some of us never do grow up. The woman in the video stands pouting with her arms crossed at the counter. 
She was angry about her order, having returned her hamburger twice and demanded her money back. When the employee refused, the woman went and got a water dispenser and poured it out on the counter. She then pushed the cookie container off the counter as well. Still not satisfied, she picked up one of the yellow, slippery, when wet warning signs and flung it across the counter, presumably at an employee. She also pushed all three registers over the counter. According to the police report, the employee then warned her that she was calling the police, and this woman took that as her cue to go but not before cussing the employee out like a sailor. While mental health or anger issues may be responsible for her actions, it's sad to see that staff members have to face events like this. This strange sighting in the sky was caught on camera, flying over the Mexican town of Tepoztlan, and it's really been freaking people out. The strange drone-like object changes colors multiple times, and I don't think it's colored lights. It looks like the body itself is somehow shifting. At 25 seconds, it briefly becomes red before switching back to a more normal-looking color. Those strange lights look too weird to be LED tail lights to me, and if you look closely, shortly before it descends soundlessly behind the trees, it actually turns bright green. This footage published by Paranormal World in August of 2019 shows a scenic mountain and forest opposite an overpass. After completing a full 360 to take it all in, the camera falls to the cars whizzing past below before returning to the mountain. This time, the mountain isn't the only thing carving out the sky. A Godzilla-like creature peeks out from behind the mountain. At first, one might mistake it for the mountain itself, but it slowly begins to move, voiding that theory. While many in the comments say this is a good edit, some are more concerned by the man's reaction. YouTuber Dap writes, if there is a Godzilla, you are running, not chewing gum. That's probably true, although other people note that the creature is friendly, so perhaps the cameraman had no need to fear him. Still, seeing a creature the size of a mountain would probably get your heart pumping friendly or not. While in search of the ghost of the headless man, YouTube team KBC Casadores de Fantasmas encounters some unexplained activity. As they're touring the haunted area, they hear strange sounds. Later, while communicating through the spirit box, they see the gate close on its own. <laughs> then, down by the water, they spot something unusual on the opposite bank. Here it is again. What made an appearance on the riverbank? Was it the same entity that opened the gate? I can't be sure, but I am impressed by what the team has captured here. I think it calls for further investigation. A lot of people want to know where the line is when art goes too far, and the answer is when your painting starts moving by itself. There's no loud construction sending vibration through the walls, no jets overhead, no trains, just a picture bouncing against the wall. Maybe they put a magnet on the picture, and a magnet of the same pole on the other side of the wall to make them repel. Or maybe they should just move like he says. Stee Richards and Jason Griffiths make up the Ouija Brothers, a fearless ghost hunting duo from the English Midlands. What makes them different from most, aside from their bravery, is that they are more skeptical and often set out to debunk famous haunted locations rather than promote them. With that said, they may have met their match at Shepton Mallet Prison. 
Built in 1610, Shefton Mallon Prison is the oldest prison in the country and also was the longest running until its closure in 2013. Four centuries of brutal treatment have since created hostile spirits who were, for the most part, already not good people to begin with. So much horror has happened here that a strange feeling of negative energy is said to have washed over the very walls themselves and it isn't long before the Ouija brothers, despite their usual level-headedness, find themselves looking over their shoulder and questioning every sound. Sure, any building that's centuries old is bound to make some really creepy noises, and some of what they record just sounds like the foundation setting and stuff like that. But other encounters, like what happens here only two minutes into their investigation, seems to be in response to a very specific question. Are you upstairs? I agree with them that it's coming from somewhere above, but let me know if you do too. Whatever's following them, it seems to prefer to have a height advantage at all times. But check this part out at 8 minutes and 25 seconds. Jason actually looks up a split second before he hears the noise. So did they plan this and he messed up? Or did he sense it moments prior? Is that you? Uh, he was up above, wasn't he? Confident they found a particularly haunted prison wing to explore, the Ouija brothers walk past each cell, encouraging anything inside to come forth, and they gently coax the spirit into revealing itself. Ste is too busy looking straight ahead and misses the light anomaly appear against the wall right next to him. I fully admit that it could be their camera equipment, but it never happens again a single time. And get this, the light appears at the exact same moment. Jason wanted to know if the spirit remembers what life was like at Shepton Mallet Prison. If you wish to come out, knock on the door that you want to come out of. Do you remember? Neither of them see this though, and so unaware that it's already worked, Jason continues to talk to the spirit about how the prison guards were able to go home. Well, they had to stay here, and out comes the loudest bang of all. Whoa, what was that? But that's not all they hear. They get out the electromagnetic meter to try and measure air currents for paranormal activity. Nothing happens at first, but then it beeps loudly and turns green for a long time. They can't get the meter to do it again and are trying to figure out if this was a glitch when they are interrupted by something scary mid-sentence. I'll enhance the audio to make it easier to hear. It was the same with Barry Gordon, didn't it? It's a small, muffled voice from far away, so tiny and distant that it shouldn't have even registered on camera, not with that heavy door closed behind them. And yet it reaches their ears with alarming clarity. They agree it's a woman, but still they are unable to pinpoint its exact location. And when they go outside, the prison is as empty as ever. According to legend, this could be the voice of one of the oldest prisoners, a woman known only as the Woman in White. She is said to have taken the life of her fiancé and passed away in six. 1680 from regret. Now she wanders the A and B wings moaning her sorrows, and as they are searching for her, the electromagnetic reader they left behind goes crazy once again, indicating that while they may have left the room, perhaps she is not, and the reason why they were able to hear her so clearly was because her ghostly presence had been standing not in another room, but behind them all along. A YouTuber who goes by the one and only Spud Bud has been hearing scary noises outside of his house every night. Strange and mysterious sounds coming from the sky. It always seems to happen between 4 and 5 in the morning when it's still dark outside. Listen to this and tell me what you would do if you were woken up by this noise. It's hard to tell if the sky sounds are coming from an animal or a machine, or perhaps even some living mixture of both, whatever it is. It sounds tremendously large and about to crush his house. On Thursday, after 4 days of scary noises, the one and only Spud records the creepiest video of all. This is when it sounds less mechanical and more like a creature. But tell me what you think it is. A 
low rumble pierces the sky with enough force to make the floorboards of his house creak. One thing that makes me think this is real is how he never leaves his home to go outside. Instead, he paces around his house nervously hoping that the sound will go away. And it looks like a realistic reaction. Well, most people believe this is real. One person said they analyzed the clip and found it was edited. They said they would link the sound file but never did, so their claims have not been supported. Let me know if you have ever heard this noise from any movies or other popular media. Maybe together we can figure this one out. Numerous cameras around this home have captured paranormal activity. Shared by YouTube channel GND Studios, this is video proof of a haunting. The first instance is subtle. The next one, though, not so much. Then, at around 3 in the morning, a bunch of noise is captured on camera, along with movement. Back in the kitchen, something is playing in the curtain. And back at the front door, something is playing in the jacket. In my opinion, this is some pretty straightforward footage. I think now's the time to invest in videos were shared on Facebook in Indonesia, showcasing the same strange phenomenon in the sky. Posted by Mr. Potek in November of 2019, with a video credited to Sataiwan, the unidentified object was filmed in Aceh, backlit by a bright moon. This mysterious flying or floating object appears to just hang there at the side of the moon. The object isn't shaped like a flying saucer, but its origins are equally as mysterious, viewed at several different angles. I don't come any closer to recognizing what this object is. The local police were reportedly terrified by its appearance. Should they be? What do you think it is? Who is standing in the shadows? Published in December of 2021, the Cornish Ghost Whispers Paranormal UK team managed to capture a full-body apparition of what appears to be a man. The footage was taken at South Wheel Francis Tin Mine. In the darkness between two large pillars, a dark figure manifests before their very eyes. The woman says hello to the apparition several times, but receives no answer. Keep sharing, guys. Look at this foot. <gasps> Hello? Hello? She points out on camera where the figure appears. Do you see the Tin Mine Man? Or is it just a trick of the light? The ancient Ram Inn in England's Watton Under Edge is infamous for its devil worship and ritual sacrifice. YouTube team Ghost Raiders dives in to see if they can uncover any of this residual dark magic. Using paranormal devices, they try and get the spirits to communicate with them. You make the K2 reader go off. Oh. Oh, we've got a cat ball. We've got a cat ball going off. The spirit seems to be playing around. In another stony room of the inn, there appears to be a demon face escaping the stone. There. There is a face, or what looks like a face, but it is just obviously how the bricks and soot, I would imagine, have sutted up the wall, but yeah, it just looked like a face. It makes you wonder how such a face formed. Later, while using the Estes method, Holly feels unsettled. Feel. 
on the mask. Like pressure around my, that physically being moved. During a ritual ceremony to free her from her demon, she becomes overwhelmed with emotion. <laughs> It seems to me that a spirit somehow entered Holly through the Estes method, only to be released through this ritual, and the feeling and release of the incident looks incredibly painful. What are these bright lights in the sky? The lights start to appear one by one. On a deux autres encore de nouvelles. Qu'est-ce que ça va faire? On ne sait pas. Ils sont plus proches là. C'est beaucoup beaucoup plus à gauche. Troisième. Trois. Il y en a trois. Tiens, regarde. C'est pas moi qui les invente. Quatre. Ça en fait pas assez autres là. There is no information attached to this video about where it was filmed, but the clip continues for a minute and a half without the lights changing much in position. They do start to shift a little toward the end, though. Are these lights on singular aircrafts, or are they arranged on one larger aircraft? They appear to me to be individual aircrafts flying in formation, or rather hovering. But apart from unidentified flying objects, I have no clue what they might be. Do you? Proving demons' rights. On our paranormal investigation at a haunted hotel, we capture a real shadow person hat man on video. Are you wondering what a hat man is? Let Dana Matthews from the site Weak and Weird explain the phenomena. According to Matthews, shadow men came creeping out of the shadows in 2011 when paranormal radio personality Art Bell cast a light into the darkness on his radio show Coast to Coast AM, and the result was a burgeoning community of people coming forward, explaining their encounters with these phenomena. Out of this shadow people phenomena, another slightly different experience arose, encounters with the hat man. Much like shadow people, the hat man often appears at nighttime, wearing a wide-brimmed hat, hence the name. Those who encounter him have described him as a solid black mass, darker than a shadow without discernible facial features, and no describable lower body. Apart from a long flowing trench coat, the hat man is often seen floating and moves without sound, quite frequently in a basement setting. Another quality of this phenomena is that the hat man tends to appear in places of high negative energy and family dysfunction. This video shows either a hat man or shadow figure haunting this generally creepy house. The figure flies down a hallway, disappearing into a distant room as the ghost investigators search the house's interior. So what's going inside this house? Is it haunted? The hat man phenomena is often a recurring one for many people, from childhood to adulthood. Some believe shadow people are evil, like physical medium Amy Allen, who thinks they are interdimensional entities. Although the hat man and the shadow person might seem one and the same, they do indeed appear to be two separate entities. If you see a hat man, consider your family dynamics and the energy of your relationships. Does this video make you believe in hat men and shadow figures? If so, don't turn around. Elliot Mosqueda has a motion sensor cam in his living room that at first glance appears to go off for no reason. Look at the television though to see someone crossing the room. I can see the black reflection of this square poster in the television. So it definitely really was the same background. The question is if it's real or edited. Something is watching, but what that is we don't know. TikToker Axel Loza Official shares this creepy video captured in these boys' room at night. Two boys are seen sitting straight up in bed, staring at something. Aquí están mis hermanos. Y desde hace rato se quieren dormir, pero están viendo la misma cara que yo. What are they looking at? Well, you're about to find out. No sé qué hacer. No se pueden dormir. Ni ver, aquí está. A childlike face is peering out from a frosted closet window, but when the cameraman goes to open it up, this happens. Absolutely nothing. And no sé qué hacer. 
Where did she go? While I would be hiding in the comments with everyone else, I'm going to check all my closets real quick first. Something strange happens every night in the room of a YouTuber named Sumi, and it happens at 3 a.m. The door looks fully shut with the latch in place, so that means somehow the door opens without the knob turning, and then continues to open with nobody on the other side. It's a lightweight door, but even if the house was built on a slope or something, I don't think it would open that easily. Plus, if this really does happen at 3am, like Sumi claims, then there's just no question in my mind that A, their whole house is haunted, and B, it's time to install a lock. An investigator from the Liberty Independent Ghost Hunters of Texas is exploring the haunted old Lavaca Jail when they capture some scary stuff happening right in front of their camera. Camera. Are you for real? A paranormal mist fills the room and it's not his breath because it comes from off to the side, not in front of him. Also, at 48 seconds, the colors dim and the camera blurs as if trying to focus on a ghostly presence. The Texas ghost hunter is freaked out and doesn't stick around to see what comes after the paranormal mist and ghost orbs. I've seen a lot of paranormal investigations before, and something about this one looks real. I think he was really scared and had a genuine paranormal experience. The G-Team paranormal investigators are at it again, returning to the highly paranormal medical center. Enter. The paranormal activity that occurs in this video is sure to scare you silly. Published to YouTube in April of 2020, the team writes, We chose this place due to the amount of paranormal activity we always get here, and lo and behold, they were waiting for us. Hold on to your hats, because this one's a wild ride. Patty leads the pack, and the paranormal activity that occurs in the center is off to the races from the get-go. As the crew is doing their intro, something in the next room falls to the floor. Yes. Oh. oh my god. What was that? When they go to investigate, they claim that as soon as they walked into the room, it grew extremely cold. Jody screams, saying he felt like something touched him. He said something got his neck, and Patty points out that a cord hanging from the ceiling in the middle of the room is moving. Throughout the entire video, there are odd noises here and there. Sometimes they're subtle, other times they're distinct. Is that doctor? That was crazy. Around 10 minutes 25 seconds, Jody is trying to communicate with the presence in the medical center, asking it to tap three times. When that, that was. When that came out, Do you hear that? Although it does not comply, a shadow falls across the room, and another loud bang is heard in the next room. <laughs> oh, God. All this frightening activity begs the question, what kind of medical procedures went on here? Paranormal and other strange oddities aren't the only things to be courageous about. Normal, everyday occurrences can often result in sheer fear. This video clip reveals one of these horrifying incidents, uploaded to YouTube in November of 2018. The home security footage shows a fire erupting in the home's kitchen, unbeknownst to the people inside the home, who you can hear in the background in another room of the house. It appears as though the homeowners left something cooking on the stove. At first, you just see it rising onto the kitchen counter, then that something erupts into flames. The blaze continues to grow as the fire heats up. You can hear a baby crying in the other room as the family remains unaware to the fact that their kitchen is on fire. Finally, when a high-pitched sound is heard, the homeowners rush into the room. <laughs> the 
As the flames grow higher, the woman rushes into the room beyond, perhaps to look for an extinguisher. She then opens what appears to be the oven, but the blaze just rises more, and the fire alarm finally starts sounding off. The man then rushes into the room with a bucket of water, a toddler fast on his heels, but when he throws the water over the flames, they jump, causing the man to stumble backwards. As many in the comments of this video note, it appears to be a grease fire, which you should never throw water on. Others suggest they should have grabbed the child and evacuated before making any attempt to put the fire out. Comments also suggest purchasing a new fire alarm and extinguisher, as it took an awfully long time for the alarm to alert them to the danger rising in their home. It does appear as though the flames went out, as the man scoops up his kid and the homeowners leave. Hopefully they got out of there and were able to call the fire department before this fire consumed their entire house. There's an abandoned house deep in the forests of Malaysia that was once owned by a kindly elderly man who threw large parties and enjoyed the company of everyone. But one day he mysteriously passed away and in his place moved in rough and mean squatters who used the happy home for their own dark rituals. Now a team of paranormal investigators are looking to see how well these conjuring rites have worked. You're going to hear a noise after the footstep. Is this an animal or someone crying out loud? If it is an animal, we never hear it again, and it isn't long before they find a voodoo doll made from twisted wood scraps. It looks like it took a long time to make and is probably infused with arcane magic. There's a large wooden stick jabbed through its foot, so I think it's been used, but does it work is the question. They don't stick around and leave before whoever made it returns. There's a YouTube channel called The Zeroeth Folio of Shakespeare that posts nothing but weird Shakespearean quotes in a low, menacing voice. Somebody has been posting dozens of these videos for over a year now despite most of them having only 5 views or less. I don't really understand what these videos could possibly mean individually or when put together. All I know is that it's almost like whoever is uploading these videos is on some kind of mysterious mission with a hidden purpose that I doubt is benign. Anyway, here's where things get really weird. The right side of these videos has always shown static for the past year, but at the end of their latest video posted four months ago, the static suddenly clears and this scary event happens. I also noticed how the thumbnail for this video looks different than the others, further adding to the mystery. All of the other thumbnails show the same image of static, but this newest one clearly shows a strange looking man wearing what appears to be clothing from another time period. Take a look at the channel and let me know if you think this is just a clever gimmick or some kind of nefarious creation loaded with hidden messages. 20 years ago, this hospital was abandoned. Now urban explorer Luan Mendez is ready to investigate the hospital to see if it's haunted. He's exploring the hospital in search of the scariest place he can think of, the morgue, because that's where a ghost is most likely to be caught on camera. The only problem is he and his team aren't exactly sure where it is, and soon they get twisted up in a maze of hospital hallways. The ghost of a nurse is said to roam these halls. They don't see anyone and yet every room they pass leaves them feeling more watched, more creeped out. <laughs> A figure sprints past without making a sound, and I think this is a real ghost sighting because the ghost hunters are walking, and you can hear their footsteps loud and clear. Meanwhile, the apparition is running full speed, but there are no footsteps, which shouldn't be possible. Listen again. <laughs> 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 
They investigate the floor and find no footprints. Someone, perhaps a ghost, was just running down the hall, but the dust is undisturbed. Further evidence that this was a real ghost in the hospital hallway. They're scared, but they keep exploring the abandoned building, eventually coming across some more weird things in the nursery area. Creepy stuff like this picture of a child on a rope that scares them. Creepy stuff like a rotten offering of some sort, stuck against the wall in what appears to be a bizarre ritual. On the ground, they see two small red dots and begin following the splatter pattern. And what they found at the end still haunts the ghost hunters to this day. <laughs> Something swings upside down, and if you look directly behind them, you'll see it's in the same creepy room that they just showed on camera. So where could this thing have been hiding? And when they gather enough courage to check a second time, nothing is there. Who's there? Your worst nightmare. Posted by Deadhead Gillies to the Ghosts subreddit. The Redditor says there's something knocking in the walls, and we don't have to take her word for it because she has video proof. It sounds like someone is knocking insistently at the door, only there's no one there. She says this has continued for two months. She's not the only one to have had such an experience. Redditor Ritual Maniac writes in the comments that the same knocking pattern occurred at a house she once lived in, along with other paranormal happenings like voices, doors opening, running, etc. When they moved, everything, including the nightmares and unexplainable bad feelings, all vanished. The Redditor says this knocking wasn't heard initially and just started happening randomly as of late. At one point, when her boyfriend lived there, he even heard laughing and whispering. The Redditor said after sending the videos to her grandmother, a pastor was supposed to come and visit. But of course, an ongoing event began earlier this year and prevented that. Some in the comments think it's the pipes, others say it's likely a pesky animal, but myself and many others are leaning towards the paranormal. Game of Onions writes, Let him in already. Must be cramped in there. But I wouldn't take that advice. While investigating the ancient Ram Inn, YouTuber After Dark Paranormal captured what they believe is paranormal activity. Watch the creepy doll sitting atop the Ouija board. Is it our Ouija board you like? Or is it the doll? Or is it one of us? The doll appears to answer dramatically. The sensory device starts flashing at the same time the doll starts to fall. Although this could be paranormal activity, the doll appears to me to be sitting precariously on the board. The tumble it takes looks like it could have been natural. The team says they tried to replicate it but couldn't. They spent over an hour trying to do so, including kicking and pushing the solid oak barrel. So I'm on the fence with this one. What do you think? Humans have always made computers. But on a website called thispersondoesnotexist.com, it's now the other way around. It uses a sophisticated computer algorithm to create realistic photos of people who were never actually born. Looking into the eyes of a photorealistic person who doesn't exist is strange enough, but get this, sometimes the computer messes up, and this is the result. In this first glitch, a fictional man's entire lower jaw is replaced with a solid chunk of bad data. It looks like he is screaming into the abyss, and the surprised, hollow look in his eyes just makes it even worse. And when the computer really gets things wrong, it creates this horrifying humanoid sidekick with a jack-o'-lantern grin and, oddly enough, glasses under pale green eyes that do not even fully surround the iris. The glasses don't have a nose piece because, well, the creature does not have a nose. A YouTuber named Cubanguy receives a deep web mystery box with a pile of old electronics inside. 
He notices an outdated cassette player with headphones, so he puts them on and hears a woman saying the same thing over and over again in a different language. Listen to this part and let me know if you can translate. <laughs> Something about the woman's tone sounds menacing to me, almost as if she is making a twisted prediction. If you speak the language, please let me know if I am right. A YouTube channel called DYP Official finds some kind of abandoned facility way out of the woods. One climbs to the top of a big blue container and sticks their head over the end, which is scary for reasons I'll get back to soon enough. Two other large vats grab their attention. Found a whole thing of sulfuric acid in the woods. <laughs> Sulfuric acid. Yo, please stop, bro. Please. Bro. He would have kept turning the release valve had they both not shouted at him to stop. I don't know if it was full, but if so, he would have been in deep trouble and might not have survived an acid spray. In the shed, they find a gas mask and large science beakers used to hold chemicals. One of the vials is still full, so they take it outside for a better look until their friend grabs it from them. Right. Boom! Luckily for them, it doesn't break. Breathing in any unknown chemical, whether indoors or outdoors, could end up with them on the floor. Inside of an abandoned building, they find a label that got me curious. I googled what polyseed inoculum is, and the answer sheds light on what this facility really is. Basically, this is used to break down biological waste. They've been playing around in a biological waste treatment center the whole time, touching things that ordinarily require a full biohazard suit to handle. Whatever chemicals they were handling probably were not safe, and the air quality can't be much better. The type of place that could really mess you up after maybe a few visits. In other words, certainly not a place where you'd ever want to stick your face over an old chemical vat and take a big whiff. A mysterious and creepy video of a seemingly haunted stuffed toy moving on its own has this woman so freaked out that she's probably going to cry. The woman is busy looking at her phone when the object moves towards her multiple times, stopping every time she glances up. Each time, its movements are so slight that she's not even sure if the object is really moving or not. At 3 minutes and 19 seconds, she grabs the stuffed toy and brings it near. But less than a minute later, the possessed toy flings itself across the bench and she runs away screaming. I want to say that this video is fake, but you can see the entire room. So if it was someone holding a string, I'm not sure where they would be standing. An invisible force has taken this man by the scruff of his neck, published in December of 2019. At the beginning of the video, the cameraman and another man off screen are yelling at each other. <laughs> At a distance, a short figure in white appears to be standing in a dark doorway. Its features are indistinguishable. The two continue yelling at each other until the cameraman turns around and starts running away from the figure in the doorway. As he does, the friend who was yelling is captured on camera, holding a flashlight. But suddenly, he is thrown to the ground, and as if a mysterious invisible force is acting upon him, the man is dragged away. The cameraman runs toward him to help, and it appears as if he is thrown to the ground too. Mayhem ensues as they both try to fight it off. They finally manage to break away, and they start hurrying off, but the cameraman doesn't get far. He is thrown to the ground and dragged again through the ice and snow. He struggles with the force before being pulled, this time into a room. Oh. <laughs> 
He manages to escape and run away, and when he turns to look back, there's a small figure in the doorway again. What is this force? Where was it taking him? He'd better leave now or it might just get him this time. There is a demon in this abandoned house and Dimitri from a sip of fear is about to face him. Inside the kitchen, he finds a strange trap door in the floor. But before checking out what's down there, the demon tells him he's here. He starts to grow paranoid. And later, a stationary camera captures some activity. The demon seems to be a one-hit wonder. And he tells Dimitri that he's too late. Then the lights go off. Apparently, he's told Dimitri to leave, and this time Dimitri listens. I find the slamming doors were the most intense part of this visit. The demon wouldn't have to tell me twice. I would have left after the first warning. A woman was caught disappearing on multiple CCTV cameras at the same time. The incident made the news, and basically nobody is certain what happened. Take a look at these two completely different angles. I can understand a camera malfunction happening once, but the chances of it happening to two separate cameras at the same time is very slim. I don't understand how this could happen, and I'm eager to read your opinions. Do you think that this woman has truly disappeared? Does the spirit of a witch still call this witch's house home? YouTuber Max from Paranormal Point is here to investigate. A steady cam captures the wardrobe's entire collapse in the next room. It sounds like a dog is hiding somewhere in the room, along with something else. In another room, the candles are lit and a shadow figure drifts past. After performing a ritual, Max reaps his reward. The witch becomes angrier when he addresses her. Who are you? You can show us. A little later, this happens. Mm. 
Yeah, I would leave too. I think the witch is here, and she means business. A ghost hunting channel called American Phantom Hunters have been exploring haunted places for decades, and this paranormal investigation is one of their creepiest videos yet. The Palmer House in Minnesota is a haunted hotel that was rebuilt after a terrifying fire took many lives. Some people never checked out and still roam the hallways as a ghost. Mysterious sightings of paranormal activity are said to terrify any ghost hunters who dare to investigate the haunted hotel. There always seems to be a ghost slamming doors and moving objects, whispering voices in dark hallways, and even a little ghost girl who bounces a ball down the stairs late at night. American Phantom Hunters begin their paranormal investigation by carefully setting up ghost hunting equipment at one of the most haunted places in the whole hotel, the stairs where a little ghost girl likes to push a ball down late at night. Within minutes, their carefully calibrated paranormal equipment is detecting electromagnetic activity from a nearby ghost, perhaps the little girl herself. Can you come back up? 296. Ooh. I got it on film. Can you come to these steps? Can you stand on these stairs? Two pieces of paranormal equipment independently verify the presence of a ghost. The large blue screen displays a black bar that represents movement, in this case a ghost girl running up the steps. Their paranormal investigation yields results as their questions are answered quickly and in time. Can you touch that device again? 40, 30. Something just went by on that meter too. Jeez. And this digital thermometer detects a drop of 3 degrees from 75 degrees to 72 degrees, paranormal evidence of a chilling effect as a ghost passes by. At this point, the supernatural energy is so prevalent that one of the ghost hunters has their phone mess up and display the wrong year entirely. She is unable to access any of the paranormal evidence on her phone while standing at these stairs. They set up a spirit box to capture any scary ghost EVPs on tape, and that's when the strange knocking noises begin. Can you touch that yellow device on the stairs for me real quick? Thank you. Hello? Accompanied by the scary whispering voices of a little ghost girl. At times, the EVP sounds like they are coming from the spirit box, but at 6 minutes and 25 seconds, the scary voice whispers may be right into the camera from behind. Hey. Can you come down the stairs? They try to talk to the little ghost girl some more and manage to capture these spooky EVPs on tape. How are you? Do you care if I go upstairs? Wait. Wait. Okay. I'll be After gathering enough evidence, they decide to leave the haunted hotel, and so they say their paranormal goodbyes, but as they are leaving, they hear a voice whisper something scary in the darkness. They hear the word castle, but I hear cast down. What do you think this scary voice is whispering? Either way, the fact that they hear the EVP outside of the house is a terrifying sign because it means something could have attached itself to them, so something tells me they aren't exactly safe. This video shows a concerned sister checking in on her sleeping sibling. I'm not sure why she would be holding a camera to do so, but I guess she wanted to record the moment. A girl she has never seen before is hovering over her sister's bed without saying a word, and when she turns to leave to get help, the ghostly child teleports in the doorway to block her. Are you alright? OH MY GOD! The girl standing in the door does look like the same girl who is just standing by the bed. They are wearing the same outfit and have the exact same hair length and color, so I guess it's possible that this was a spirit. Then again, if this was staged, then maybe there was a second girl who was standing in the doorway the whole time to make it look like they teleported. 
A crumbling cemetery in New Orleans is crawling with restless residents. If this scary sighting is to be believed, at 18 seconds a stone slab lays on the ground as if recently removed. 20 seconds later, this mysterious figure, to use their exact words, is caught on video walking between some tombstones. This could simply be one of their friends, but if not, then seeing a random person while exploring an abandoned cemetery is really bizarre and also more than a little creepy. They are unable to get the figure on video again and so they leave. It's 3 a.m. when this home security camera catches something weird on video. At 5 seconds, you can see strands of a spider web, but that's not what I'm talking about. 6 seconds later, a bug breaks free of the web. It looks normal in flight, and only when it lands on the doorbell camera does it look kind of humanoid, like it might not be a bug after all. Tell me if you can see a vaguely human outline here at 13 seconds, or if you think this 3am sighting is nothing more than an overactive imagination. I just did some research, and I guess if you're gonna get lost at a dead end creepy bridge, at least if there's some cool legend ghost story behind it, then it's worth checking out, right? An outdoors YouTube channel called Nomadic Fanatic has been camping for a week when he comes across a spooky location, an old bridge that's haunted. According to legend, a bandit named Stuckley was brought to justice here. And apparently every once in a while, if you hear a splash in the water, that's Stucky's ghost behind here. There's nothing you can really do about We're out of here. That's about enough of that. Nomadic Fanatic is all by himself, holding a GoPro when he hears a splash below, which is a bit too much of a coincidence. So I guess that means the ghost story could be real. And unfortunately, there is a lot of graffiti left behind here. There's nothing you can really do about I mean, Nomadic Fanatic has been alone all week and has tons of video evidence to prove he was by himself when this happened. I don't see how it could be set up, and therefore I think this scary noise could be a paranormal encounter with a ghost EVP caught on camera. Here's another ninja cat caught on tape trying to capture a ghost. Daryl Zan published this video in 2012 with the description, Just a little video of my buddy taping his possessed cat. Also has a ghost orb flash by. The cat starts up in the corner of the door frame, next to the ceiling. She is looking all over, looking towards the ceiling, and balanced between two door frames. Just as one of the cat owners says, what's she going to do? A blue streak, the orb in question, flies across the camera lens from the upper right of the screen. To the lower left, the man who's filming notices it and says it was weird. Well, that was weird. But his partner didn't see it. Did the couple's cat sense the ghost in the room? Is that why he'd ninja his way to the top of the door frames? It's more than possible. However, some skeptics in the comments section say that the cat is acting perfectly normal and that the orb looks like a paper airplane. What do you think? A YouTuber named Julie G797 was watching live BBC news coverage of a worker's strike in Hong Kong when he catches what seems to be undeniable evidence of a UFO. There you go. Look at that. Descending on the top of that building. The mysterious green light hangs around the top of a building for only moments before shooting straight up into the sky. This footage was taken directly from the television screen and seems very hard, if not impossible, to fake. Right now, people are mostly debating if the light is too big to be a quadcopter drone. I guess it could be a drone, but if not, I think this very well may be a legitimate alien UFO sighting. Believe it or not, this doll is scarier than she looks. Published by Rota X in November of 2020, they encounter this creepy doll directly upon entering, covered in red. Let's hope that's paint. And then this happens. <laughs> Muito sinistro. 
After they're running away as fast as they can from the demon doll, they realize the presence is still with them. It makes itself known via the EMF meter. Has whatever possessed that doll latched onto them? Time to call an exorcist. In a frightening Twitter thread, Gregory88 shares a frankly freaky series of posts about an experience in the woods, including a video that has Twitter more than a bit concerned. Greg's thread begins on November 30th, 2018, where he claims to have seen something in the woods. He tweets, even though it might not be super safe to be out alone in the woods, it still feels better than being home all the time. He continues writing that he was walking in some woods that would be pretty if they didn't feel so creepy. Just when he was starting to feel at ease, he came across something strange in a clearing, but he only made it about 30 feet before he ran into something much creepier. He posts a picture of what he found. It appears to be an animal skull of some kind, mounted on a rock within a blackened triangle. Other smaller rocks are placed around the triangle and on the skull in some sort of ritualistic looking design. Greg writes that he discovered something new in the wilderness every day, but he isn't nearer to comprehending what's going on. He said he felt dizzy as he headed away from the rock towards his home, but again he didn't make it far before he ran into yet another fright. A hooded woman dressed in black hovering at a distance on a hillside looking at nothing. Greg says she didn't see him as he hid behind a tree. Apparently he'd seen her before in these woods, but it had been weeks since his last sighting. After she left the hillside and drifted off into the forest, Greg darted home fearing the whole while that she'd pop out and confront him. He asks the Twitter sphere if she's a witch. If not, what are these strange ritualistic displays? He also claims the video is proof that his imagination hadn't run wild. At this point, I just want answers, and I feel like I'm getting close to getting them, Greg writes. I'm just scared of what they might be. We're all pretty scared, Greg. We all are. A statue of Sai Baba became a topic of mass speculation across India in 2016 when it was apparently caught shrugging its shoulders, causing a clothing article to come off. The obvious answer is that this clothing item simply came undone and fell off over time, but at 24 seconds the statue appears to possibly roll its shoulder to make it fall off. What's especially odd, though, is that at 45 seconds, when everything seems to have fully unfolded and settled, the clothing article jumps off where the statue's hand is, did it move again? There could have been wind currents from air conditioning, or a draft to knock this loose in my opinion. Otherwise, it could have been a simple case of gravity and time. A laughing child runs from one room to another and something horrifying seems to playfully chase her. The shifting shadow follows closely behind and then disappears as quickly as it came. Some people say that this is just a bug on the lens, but I don't think so. Look again and you'll see the formless blob squeezes itself directly around the corner. I have heard of spirits sometimes befriending a child before possessing them. Hopefully that's not the case here, but whatever this is, I sure wouldn't want it anywhere near myself or my family. A student is doing some schoolwork on his computer. When somebody comes in and starts recording, they have a short conversation that's interrupted by a large figure standing in the darkened doorway behind them. The creature's head almost touches the ceiling and its arms are so gigantic and long that they don't even fully fit in the camera frame. Its arms look long enough to pluck them from the couch and drag them to their doom. Fortunately for them, the two friends get away just in time and take off. They glance back for a moment only to find Slenderman silently regarding them from the top of the stairs. Now that you've seen this on video, I'm eager to hear if you think this was a real Slenderman sighting or just someone in a really good costume. Imagine you saw a flicker of something out of the corner of your eye and that something turned out to be a scary encounter that would haunt your dreams. YouTuber All Around Lifestyle published this video in May of 2016 explaining, We just got done exploring a huge abandoned car park, and as we were leaving, I spotted something yellow laying on the ground. But when he told his friends he'd seen something, they were doubtful. He started going down again, he wrote, and this time someone or something started shouting at us. 
Jackson names on it. What was this someone or something? A potentially crazy person who started screaming at the boys. A sound you wouldn't expect to hear coming out of a human being. And like they said, they hightailed it out of there. Frightened, they raced to the roof of the building as fast as they could. Thankfully, no one was harmed in the making of this video. It's after midnight and a YouTuber named Angie the Green-Eyed Angel is exploring a ghost town that is completely abandoned. She isn't even finished the introduction to her video before weird stuff starts happening. It took me a couple of listens, but I can actually hear the wind whispering her name here. Abandoned ghost town. Hopefully you can see it behind me. I swear, I just heard my name. Apparently, the wind has other things to say as well. Strange noises continue to follow Angie as she sneaks through old buildings filled with spider webs and rotting architecture. After about 20 minutes of exploring, Angie stops and thinks she sees a grayish figure looking back at her. Oh, I don't know if the camera can even see it. <gasps> Footsteps from behind send her screaming into the night. A YouTuber named Sonia Set is making a vlog about life in general when she decides to take a rest in the park on a nice Sunday. Big mistake. I have some guy staring at me in front of me. He's been like holding the tree. Notice how he lines himself perfectly out of her sight. He could come from behind and she wouldn't be able to see it coming. What are you, doing? you guys are about to see him right now. And I am gonna leave. What a weirdo. There he is. So weird. People are so creepy. He is definitely facing her way when she decides that she's had enough. Now we get up and go. He's still facing her direction long after she goes, arms innocently behind his back like nothing's wrong. So creepy. People are so creepy. Now, if this stranger's behavior doesn't make you say bruh, I don't know what will. It's late at night, well past closing hours, when the St. George's Theater in Norfolk catches this mysterious disturbance on CCTV. It starts as small movements in the very corner of the far window, so slight at first that you hardly notice it's there until it leaves, only to return again and dart down the hall. At 28 seconds, it stops to look in through another window for 4 more seconds, then it's gone for good. This urban exploration video comes to you from Thailand, and the title of this video roughly translates into English as, Abandoned House in the Middle of the Forest No One Dared to Explore. This modest looking home holds some strange and bizarre things that are worth taking a closer look at. Secrets I doubt we can explain. He stumbles upon an oversized shoe print. Translate his observations if you can. In the next room are two equally old footprints, even bigger and wider now. The same person has apparently removed their shoes to walk barefoot for some reason across this disgusting floor. It's like they grew out of their shoes or something. Almost like a bizarre transformation took place. Some people are saying that this is an unfinished house, while others say this looks like a crematorium. I don't know why either one would be in the middle of the forest, but I do know this is a creepy situation that I hope we can piece together and better explain. This ghost has a lot on his mind. Published in August of 2021 by Gangwa P, this scary short video has got me freaked out. The security footage shows an alley outside a gated home in what I believe is tied Island. Soon, a semi-transparent phantom shape appears. It can be seen against the darkness 
of the gate beyond. It moves past the gate and disappears. Is this ghost taking a nighttime stroll? Or do we need to call a medium? You might want to rethink booking that Airbnb after seeing this scary video posted to the r slash ghosts subreddit. By Lemonisa, the Redditor writes that spooky sounds during the first night in this rental home in Norway kept waking her and her partner. This prompted her to start recording. This is what she captured. In an upper slanted window facing the living room, a mysterious white anomaly appears. After a moment, the anomaly slowly fades away before completely vanishing. It's not clear if the figure is beyond the window looking in, or something inside the house is being reflected. Some in the comments think it looks extraterrestrial. Others say it looks like a face or hand pressed against the glass. The Redditor mentions in the comments that this house was haunted. She says that they'd be sitting in the living room and would hear random things fall from the counter and strange noises from the basement. She notes that this first night in the home was especially creepy. Would you have the courage to remain a second night in the house if you saw this in the window? I sure wouldn't. This video experiment proves something which many governments do not want the general public to know. Turning objects invisible is actually way easier than you would think. Look what happens when this YouTuber lowers a basic glass test tube into vegetable oil. But if I actually put it in far enough that the entire test tube is submerged, it vanishes almost completely. This simple experiment proves that certain liquids can actually bend light around an object to render it invisible. The key is pairing the right reflective properties with the right objects. This basic scientific principle is what governments are currently experimenting with to create cloaking devices for humans and even aircrafts one day, if they haven't done so already. To further prove their point, this YouTuber pulls out a second test tube that's been hidden in the center of the glass the whole time. Let me know if you think this experiment really does have any military potential, or if this whole idea is too far-fetched to have any practical use. This scary doorbell video is from the Chills Narrator subreddit, and it was posted by Tay Harley Quinn. They say their camera has never acted weird before, but for some reason this mysterious shadow figure, transparent and paranormal, is traveling at a high rate of speed behind a truck at random. Some people say this is a person on a bike, while others say it's somebody running, but most agree that this video is paranormal from the looks of it. A small number of people say that this is a glitch, but fail to go into much explanation, even though I would like to hear more. Until then, I think this could be a real ghost sighting caught on home security camera. Oh man, I'm in a two-way tunnel right now, man. If you down now, don't do it! He's moving! A YouTuber named Tristan R is trapped in a tunnel when he sees his worst fear creep across his visor, a spider. There's nowhere to pull over, so now he has to keep one eye on the spider to make sure it doesn't land on him, and one eye on the road to make sure he doesn't cause a pileup. He finally is able to get out and pull his visor down to show us a spider was in fact dangling over his lap by a thread this whole time. It might not look like much to most of you, but for anyone who has a major fear of spiders, it's large enough. He pulls away thinking that he's seen the last of them, but I wouldn't be surprised if there are hundreds more inside. Smallmouth Crush is making a fishing video on the Potomac River near Washington, D.C. He's drifting by when further down the riverbank something strange catches his eye. A head is sticking out of the water, long black hair, her back is to him. He looks at the head for a long time, unable to mentally process what he's seeing and not sure what to do. He gives the object a poke just to make sure it is what he fears. It has a face and it is exactly what he's afraid of. I think we are all thinking it's the same thing, especially from this distance. But when he pokes at it some more, an artificial neck joint pops free from the mud. This is a mannequin head, not a real one. Dude, what is happening? Look at this thing. This is nasty. Not finding a body is a relief, I suppose, but it also begs the question as to why anyone would take a blindfolded mannequin head out into the woods in the first place. 
I've heard of people simulating their demented desires onto mannequins before moving on to the real thing as part of their transformation into a full-blown psycho. There's a lot of creepy people out there, I guess. And to further prove my point, he looks up to find something even more sickening nearby. Look at that freaky thing. I'm out of here. It looks like somebody has been using this spot to do some pretty twisted fantasizing. And as he speeds away, I can't help but wonder what if that's not a doll? A man named Donald Jester uploaded this ghost video from 2003. Nothing is by this table, and then for an instant there appears to be what Donald refers to as a ghost girl. I don't necessarily agree that there is enough detail to tell if this was a ghost or not, let alone if it was a girl, but there is something there. Since this video was taken in December, and the front door is open, I guess it could be cold enough to be someone's breath, or something else from outside. A YouTuber named Victor Curry 30 is having a cake eating contest with oversized spoons. When one of them gets their utensil wedged deeply inside their mouth, they all find the situation somewhat amusing until they realize there's no easy way to pull it out of her mouth. What is especially troubling is how they have to shove the spoon even farther in so they can get the right angle for removal. It looks like she comes awfully close to not being able to breathe here. A kid is checking out his loose tooth in the mirror when his reflection appears to move away before he does. It happens in a split second so you have to look closely to see it. Maybe it's just the angle, but the reflection really does appear to lean away while the child himself remains stationary. Everything from an optical illusion to a haunted mirror has been proposed with no concrete answer. So if you know the proper explanation, then be sure to let me know. A YouTuber named RJFD gets a phone call from a friend, telling him to look at the sky. He goes outside and doesn't really see anything at first. It sounds like thousands of fireworks going off at once, but this is late at night in the middle of winter in small town Michigan, so that doesn't make sense. There were no fireworks planned at all, then the entire sky changes color. What is that? If fireworks is truly not the answer, then the only other explanation I have is some sort of strange weather phenomenon. Let me know if you think you have a logical reason for what's going on here, because I'm really not sure and neither is anyone in the comments section of this video. Credited to Instagram account it's so so G. These strange lights have me questioning everything. The dull lights move sporadically across the sky, darting all over with no rhyme or reason. They then disappear altogether in the clouds. Being that this was filmed in Calgary, I think these might be spotlights from the Calgary Stampede, an annual rodeo that takes place in July. Then again, maybe it's what Instagrammer Christian Mukele suggests in the comments, saying our alien masters are about to reveal themselves. Okay then, we're waiting. Have you ever wondered if a ghost might appear in your next selfie? Well, this video is evidence that they're all around us, at all times. The girl in the video is using a Snapchat filter, which appears to be capturing a nearby ghost. At least the filter is putting dog ears on a face that doesn't exist. The girl asks the ghost to stick its tongue out for her. When she realizes there may be two spirits there as two dog filters appear in the empty space, you want to stick your tongue out for me? Because this is pretty... Whoa. Whoa, there's two of them. 
Throughout the video, one of the dog filters disappears only to reappear in a different place. The girl tells the spirits they are welcome there and just to clean up after themselves. Then the bigger ghost moves closer. She asks if it's going to stick its tongue out at her, only to have the dog disappear again. And then... Are you just going to, uh, no? Okay. Are you gone? Are you going to come back? Um... Uh... That was a jump scare if I've ever saw one. Are these friendly ghosts or villainous pranksters? Your guess is as good as mine. All I can say for sure is that something suspicious is happening here. You may be a skeptic, but if you had to choose a place with all the makings of a haunting, it would probably be a hospital. After all, hospitals are the setting in which many souls depart this earth and enter the afterlife, whatever that may be, but sometimes it seems they stay. Published to YouTube in February of 2020, this clip is part of a series of clips entitled The Haunted Hospital Case. The footage shows a hospital that appears to be empty. A trash can stands in the corner and its lid starts to flip repeatedly. The lid doesn't appear to be mechanical, so who or what is causing it to rotate? But it's not just the lid, watch beyond. A paranormal figure jogs past. The figure seems to be in the shape of a young girl, however she is entirely cast in shadow, apart from a small blip of white sneakers. Do you think this might be one of the aforementioned souls? If so, where is she running off to? Or what is she running from? A man is testing out his GoPro when a mysterious sea creature is caught on camera in deep waters. Look closely behind him. You'll just barely see a small black object move in the waves before mysteriously disappearing back to wherever it came. He suspects this bizarre sighting could have been anything from a great white to an orca whale, or something smaller like an otter or a seal is not out of the question. That's a big difference and not something you'd want left up to your imagination while floating on a kayak by yourself with nothing around for miles. The creature does not resurface and ultimately leaves them alone. He's not sure which mysterious creature is responsible for this suspenseful moment caught on GoPro, but there's always a chance of an even closer encounter next time. Dennis and Tim team up in this video on YouTube channel Nerve Paranormal, and they think this poltergeist is pushing them to do dangerous things. Upon entering the abandoned site, they find something out of place. As they explore, Dennis sees something pass by. Then as they enter, If that wasn't scary enough, this happens. I agree that it's time to leave, but will the evil poltergeist let them? With nowhere to go, they try to escape from the roof. But they decide against it. They re-enter the house and leave out the window instead. That was a close call, and I agree with Dennis that the poltergeist was trying to drive them out via a risky route. I'm glad they didn't listen though.
These friends are staying at a hotel when they see flashing lights coming from the bathroom mirror and hear rumbling noises on the other side. It sounds like a classic haunted hotel setting at first, but when they take the bathroom mirror and flip it around, they see two holes that look to me like someone was spying on them. Scratches here and here that you can see directly through the mirror. Directly through. But this situation gets way more intense than just a peephole. Much to their surprise and horror, there was also a rectangular hole cut into the wall leading directly into the next room over. Whoever cut this hole could literally climb through the wall anytime they wanted to, day or night. They could silently watch the group in the mirror to know when they were leaving, then climb through to mess with their stuff. Or worse still, they would know when you were about to go to bed and could enter while they were all asleep to do who knows what. I don't know how any of this ended, but I do know their lives could have been at risk if they didn't discover this in time. I think this situation is real because I don't think they would destroy a hotel wall just to make a video. Hopefully they called the police and caught whoever invaded their privacy. Three masked men attempt a daring heist in Sydney, Australia at the Miller Shopping Centre. They are in the middle of taking jewels when literally everyone in the store decides they are not going to take this, and soon the men find themselves running for their lives. Customers and staff join together and chase the men out of the mall. Not even the fact one of the masked men is holding a sledgehammer is enough to hold back the angry, vigilante mob. The three masked men flee into a red van and speed away with the mob close behind, with so many similar instances caught on video. It's quite a surprise to see everyone join in to chase off the robbers for once. Bugs are awful on their own, but swarms of them. What a nightmare. Published to YouTube in June of 2018, Phelan Fairchild writes that mayflies swarm in from the lake every year and have to be snowplowed off roads and walkways. The video shows Fairchild's front desk absolutely littered with the bugs. At first you think they're a pile of fall leaves or other debris, but upon closer inspection, you can see as Fairchild points out, hundreds of thousands of bugs all over the place. They're on the deck floor, on the front door, on the window, and on the entire entire exterior of this poor woman's house. Fairchild notes that the spiders are having a heyday with this. You can't look away from this creepy sight. Fairchild says that it stinks and will be hard to clean up. It's not noted where she lives, but mayflies do appear near fresh water and are signs of a healthy water ecosystem. Swarms like this one can last for up to a month. Seems like a summer holiday abroad is in order. A woman has a full-on break from reality while on public transportation. She carries a full conversation with herself in some sort of laughing tone that only she can understand. Then she becomes absolutely overwhelmed with grief before snapping out of it. <laughs> When someone approaches her to offer comfort, she switches back to laughter with a glare. The person wisely keeps their distance and does not come any closer. Next, the woman pulls out a dirty towel with stains and disappears into her own world, apparently laughing again. I really hope she gets the help she needs, because this seems like some sort of mental episode that needs to be treated fast. She and everyone around her are lucky that this didn't escalate to the point where someone had to physically intervene. This strange and scary reflection looks like someone is staring straight into the window of a YouTuber named Hatchet TV. It's dark outside and there's absolutely no light, so exactly how this reflection is able to appear in the first place is a mystery. Look up close and you can make out an oversized and misshapen head with a large nose and ghoulish frown. I see it right there. That's crazy. Turn on the light. At first I thought this video was obviously fake because he was recording his own reflection, but when Hatchet TV turns on the lights and steps back, the face is still there. I have no other explanation besides the paranormal. There's an eerie sound coming from the Golden Gate Bridge that is making people lose their minds. A constant haunting hum that can be heard from miles away. Try to guess what it is. Oh, 
between the red rails is where the mysterious noise is coming from, and as it turns out, this is from a mistake in a recent redesign of the bridge. The new rails were mistakenly spaced apart just enough to let the wind come screeching through at an unbearable volume. It happened in June of 2020, and as of the time of this video, I was unable to find any evidence that it's been fixed. Tyler Rowe works in a grocery store with a freezer that he and all of his co-workers are sure is haunted. First, it starts with these strange noises, almost like someone is trying to kick their way out. <laughs> The kicking noises grow more intense until finally, at 9.02 a.m., this always happens without fail. This time, Tyler is determined to get to the bottom of it. He bravely marches in and documents that absolutely nobody is inside the freezer. Watch this part and let me know if you can see anyone because I didn't. Is there a light in here? And there's nothing in here. There's nothing, nobody, anything. It's just open. I can't help but suspect that a past employee somehow got locked in the freezer one morning and did not make it. Now they are trapped in spirit, kicking the door much like they did in their final hours on Earth. If someone can give me a mechanical explanation of why the door would burst open by itself at 9 in the morning every day, I would believe otherwise. YouTuber Joey Image announces that he's going to explore the hidden room in his parents' home, but don't tell his parents. He hasn't been in the room since he was a kid, so who knows what they have hidden inside now. The secret room is covered by a painting and the door is artfully camouflaged into the wooden panels of the wall. Joey pries the hatch open and it pulls out completely from the wall. He notes that it's pitch black in there and full of spider webs. Freaky. After removing the hatch door, he peers inside and invites viewers to come on in. The room is hidden under the stairs of his parents' house. On a shelf in the room, he finds a whole set of heavy wrought iron horse-drawn wagon figurines. It looks old, nostalgic, and antique. Could be worth some money. He also finds a box of plastic serving trays, an old splicer for film, a decanter, a cooking pot in a basket, a sheet of paper that reads January 7th, 1979, with a list of various drinks. Assumedly, the box below is full of these drinks. He finds a box labeled with white horse from Glasgow, Scotland, sealed shut, but he doesn't open it, otherwise his parents would have caught him. While well, he calls the discovery disappointing overall, in my opinion, a box full of mysteries is never disappointing. A bottle of cleaning solution is far from scary until it moves across the counter on its own. The clerk has his back turned so it's not him. It never moves when he's looking. He can sense something strange but when he turns around, the object stops. He probably has the bottle out because he wiped the counter down. If the surface is still wet, then that could be why the object is sliding towards him. But if that were the reason then, why would it stop moving every time he turns around? That part seems more like a ghost is messing with him. So is our freaked out friend in India really working front desk at a haunted office building? Based on the weird things caught on CCTV, I really think the evidence presents a strong case for the paranormal. Nadim Shah suspects he's caught some paranormal things on video when he goes exploring an abandoned building that is little more than pillars in the dark. He suspects a place this creepy has to be haunted and the ghost hunter's instincts are not wrong. We see if we see हम जिन की तलाश में निकल तो ओ नाज़रीन ये कुछ हिलता हुआ हमें नजर आया है तो ये आवाजें कैसी आ रही हैं आए नाज़रीन हम हिम्मत करके वहां जाने की कोशिश करते Two ghost sightings are enough for Nadim. He needs a paranormal encounter up close to be fully convinced. He follows the ghost into the darkness for one final sighting. इसको देखते हैं ये कौन सी مخلوق है क्या चीज है इसको हम पकड़ने की कोशिश करते हैं 
ये इस तरह से नजर आ रही है इधर से हम जाने की कोशिश कर ही इज ऑल अलोन व्हेन अ स्लो मूविंग शैडो फिगर ग्लाइड्स अक्रॉस द पिलर विदाउट मेकिंग अ साउंड इट्स नॉट समवन वॉकिंग बिहाइंड हिम इदर बिकॉज नदीम वुड ऑलरेडी बी ब्लॉकिंग आउट द लाइट हिमसेल्फ इट्स अ रियल गोस्ट साइटिंग एज फार एज आई एम कंसर्न्ड अ पैरानॉर्मल एंटिटी अ मूविंग शैडो दैट डीपली क्रीप्स हिम आउट एंड सेंड्स हिम ऑन हिज वे enough said okay we're out here fishing off lawn oh my god it's going to hit the boat there it is right down there mate that's the reaction of two fishermen as an unidentified shark heads towards their boat for a closer look it passes by them three times before getting way too close for comfort this is when the two friends finally decide to make a retreat oh my god oh oh all right oh oh, oh <laughs> all right, all right, let's go. Is there anyone? Oh my god, that This is in all likelihood just a great white shark, but other people are saying it's too big to be a great white and that the markings are slightly different. In their opinion, this could just be a fledging megalodon shark that was recently born. Let me know if you agree with them or if you think this was a great white. A strange creature sighting was caught on camera, moving fast along the Powell River in BC, Canada. The unknown creature was seen by many, but only one witness, a man named Oscar, was fast enough to have captured video evidence of one of the scariest moments of his life. He fully admits what he saw on the lake haunts him to this day. He saw it coming from half a mile away, a mysterious figure moving fast underwater. He says by the time he ran into his RV camper for a camera and came back, it was already moving past him so he only caught but a few mysterious and unexplained moments on video on one hand this does look like something strange and mysterious slithering just beneath the water surface like a gigantic sea snake on the other hand this video looks like something getting pulled by a boat a tow line perhaps the fact that you only see the last 17 seconds is kind of suspicious but would make sense if he had to run and get a camera it all depends on how much you believe him oscar goes on to explain that this lake is 1200 feet deep in some areas and was once connected to vast ancient glaciers where deep sea channels could have once led to mysterious and unknown creatures Perhaps this unexplained video is one of these deep sea creatures coming up for a visit. It sounds like an interesting legend, but I think I would need more video evidence than this to fully believe it. And trust me, if I find more videos about the monster of Powell Lake, I will be sure to analyze them. In the meantime, tell me what you think of his bizarre sighting, especially if you have any idea what this unexplained video could be. Central State Insane Asylum in Indianapolis has many secrets. Published to YouTube by D Holmes 12345 in October of 2006. This is an orb video, but hold up, don't change the video. Well, a lot of the times orbs caught on video appear to be faint and dust-like. This one is different. The large glowing orb is seen behind a fence at the end of a walkway. The orb hovers and then starts floating to the right as the man filming backs away startled. Some in the comments are all in, saying this is what a legit orb looks like. Others are convinced it's a light reflecting off of something. Others note that while you're distracted by the orb, something peeks out at the door at the beginning of the video. Watch again. Do you see it? Considering these two figures appear in just 14 seconds of video, it's pretty clear this asylum is a hot spot for paranormal activity. If something falls from above, the universe may be trying to tell you something. Published to YouTube in June of 2020 by MD Vines official. This will leave you shaking. Out in the jungle at night, a group is discussing something while standing outside of this obscure structure. The moon is full above. They start to see a small point of light blinking in the darkness. They follow it as it moves. Then all of a sudden something heavy like a brick falls from above. The group starts running like mad. What just tried to take their lives? Whatever it is, the creature is vengeful. They better watch their step. 
These ghost investigators have some paranormal evidence from a haunted house on video that I'm trying to decide is real or fake. They claim these lights are not coming from traffic, which I believe, but it looks awfully similar to the high-powered flashlights they were using earlier in the day. Does the beam look the same to you? Next, they claim to have picked up this sharp whisper, but I think it might be a camera strap sliding over the mic. Do you hear it? If so, what do you think? A YouTuber named Alyssa Cross is driving down a local road somewhere in the south when she comes across a person who she has never seen before acting quite strangely by the side of the road. You can hear the nervousness in Alyssa's voice as she and her friend agree that it looks like this person could have some sort of strange virus, zombie or not. One can only wonder how many other viral outbreaks began in this exact same casual style of conversation. It appears that if that's not the case, then this person is under the influence of something strong. Alyssa quietly drives past and leaves the stranger behind. Asking you shall receive. Posted to the Paranormal Evidence subreddit, Paranormal Popcorn writes that his friend, Jason, sent him this scary video. The video shows a digital clock. It's 5.57. Jason says he was awoken by a loud noise, so he entered the living room and found an overhanging light fixture swinging wildly back and forth. He says they haven't had an earthquake as far as he knows. He explains that an old hutch in the room once showed reflections in the glass, whereas the door of the hutch was locked in place, it was found hanging open. He shows that a couple of other overhanging lights are not swinging, only this one by the hutch is. He explains that this happened once before, and so he believes he has an entity on his hands. He starts addressing his girlfriend's departed grandmother who owned the hutch. Her name was Manny. He asks the entity if she has a message for him or would like to communicate. He asks the entity to move something or make a noise to signal that she's there. Though out of frame, an old chair slides loudly on its own. Please uh, move something and let me know that you're here. <laughs> He asks again and the chair slides a second time. Or give me a sign that it's you. That would mean a lot. He checks beneath the table and nothing is there. While Jason certainly seems calm though bewildered, he probably shouldn't be interacting with the spirit. As Redditor Christian Sands writes in the comments, If this is real, I would tell your friend to stop immediately asking the entity to move things. It's like an open invitation to a long-term relationship. Would you like a long-term relationship with this ghost? Yeah, me neither. Oftentimes, we see movements out of the corner of our eye and we think we're imagining things. What if we aren't? Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by Kid Blast Double, this clip got Redditors up in arms. The video shows someone entering their backyard with their dog, but check out the fence beyond. A shadow figure can clearly be seen fleeting across the yard. It arrives behind the tree and doesn't move beyond. Apart from slightly peeking from around the tree, which can be seen on the close-up of the clip, the top comment was from Redditor Dads for Sons, who said he'd watched the clip on repeat a million times, and his first reaction was, whoa, the slow-mo gives him the chills, he says. In response, Redditor PaulVS88 points out that the OP, Big Pappy Thunder, said, honestly didn't think anyone would get it, or that it would somehow get nearly 7,000 upvotes, but here we are, figured I'd bamboozle me maybe five people, then take it down for a laugh. Redditors with a sense of humor had a laugh about it. Tactius Kilgore writes, The shadow people have him and are in control of his Reddit account. There was one oddity in the video that was unedited, however, the thing peeking, but Thunder thinks that it was more likely a light from far away or from the yard behind than the shadow ghost that he'd edited into the footage. Still, this video will likely have you second-guessing the next thing you see out of the corner of your eye. 
Mass Most Haunted posted this video in 2012. The YouTuber claims that his house is haunted. In the description, he writes, Paranormal activity happens so much that ghost voices are caught on EVPs. In any video recorded in my house, in this video a ghost is caught on camera scaring my kitten, and while I was filming paranormal activity in my kitchen, a ghost throws a large box at my kitten. Luckily my cat was not hurt and I caught it on camera. The YouTuber is a paranormal investigator, and the video clips were recorded around Christmas time. The investigator also notes that paranormal activity is high in his home at this time of year, and although the ghosts rarely hurt him or his cats, sometimes they do. In this video, according to the investigator, during the Nutcracker song that served as background during a television commercial, one of the ghosts is heard in an EVP saying Nutcracker. I don't know about this one, sounds like part of the commercial to me, but what happens next is really frightening. The investigator believes the ghosts are speaking vulgarities and some of them are evil, including one that has attacked the homeowner and whose favorite pastime is throwing things at the cat to scare it. The intro to the clip notes that if a ghost is trying to make you notice it and you ignore them, one way or another they will find a way to get to you and the clip shows that's true. In the clip, one of the kittens is leaving the kitchen. As she exits, the kitten jumps suddenly and turns around to look down the hallway. Then she jumps backwards, scared by something. The YouTuber says that something was thrown at the kitten from the kitchen, and zooming in on the place where the kitten was standing, a shadow falls from the kitchen to the hallway, suggesting something has indeed been thrown. She just got scared by something. I don't know if you just saw that, but ooh, something. The lights in the kitchen are also flickering as this occurs. What did the poor kitten see? What scared her? We may never know. During a mid-morning flight from Canada over the Appalachian Mountains in October of 2010, this passenger captured something mysterious from the air. Watch carefully. Can you see the reflections of light in the clouds? There also appears to be a disc-like shape that emerges from the clouds at the lower half of the screen. Watch again closely. Is this a genuine, unidentified flying object caught on camera? If not, what do you think this could possibly be? Joe Pacini is obsessed with a singer named Sarah Bareilles, and he believes their destiny is to be together forever. He makes a bizarre YouTube video ranting about how members of the occult, the CIA, and the FBI are all working together to frame him and keep this romance from happening. Clearly, clearly these guys want me dead. We're in prison, and there's no way I'm going back to prison. Nope. The video is hard to understand because of his disjointed, rambling logic, but apparently there was some kind of incident at the local gym, and now a police detective is calling Joe's number. Hello, my name is Matt Huffnell. I'm a detective with Haverford Township PD. I'm trying to reach Joe Pacini concerning an incident a report that was made at the LA Fitness here in Havertown. Joe, could you give me a call at your earliest convenience? This simple request sends Joe over the edge. Instead of calling the investigator back, Joe makes a series of YouTube videos threatening the investigator along with his entire department. You wanna to try to bring me down? I will kill you and your whole family, all right? So go ahead. Joe switches from calm and collected to yelling and screaming as he tells everyone to back off. He eventually calls the detective back and leaves a message telling him to check out his YouTube channel for more information. The police eventually find Joe driving around and immediately pull his vehicle over. According to their report, Joe backed his car into a cruiser and they took his life immediately. I was never able to find out what happened at the gym. 
So if you know why the police initially contacted him, then please let me know. An old hospital that was recently turned into an office building is experiencing some pretty strange activity lately. And as you will soon see for yourself on this unsettling piece of security footage. Right there it starts. And that door just completely opens by itself. Just watch that one more time. So the door stays completely closed and then just out of nowhere starts opening. And like the title says, this building is completely empty when this happens. So unless there's potentially a window open, like some sort of draft, I, j I just can't think of any other reason why this would be happening. To provide some context on this video, the owner of the office building has said that he has seen somebody standing in the corner of this room, but he didn't want to say it was anything paranormal because he was a skeptic. However, just to make sure nothing serious was going on, he called the local authorities and about a week later, after an alarm went off in the building, they came down to the office to come take a look but they were unable to find anybody or anything. After checking the security camera footage, this is what they saw. So is this a haunted office building or just something easily explainable, like a bad door that opens on its own or something? Let me know what you think. Fear Hides Here, published to YouTube in July of 2021, this investigative team encountered something sinister. While investigating in broad daylight, the crew only just enters the creepy abandoned house when a scary loud racket is heard. <laughs> Something is thrown against the wall in another room and sounds like it breaks apart. In one room, the investigators break out an EMF sensor, which starts beeping dramatically when it's held up toward one part of the ceiling. One of the crew boosts another up to the crawl space in the ceiling to see what's triggering the device. It looks like the crawl space was being lived in at one point, as a pair of shoes and a book or pamphlet is up there amongst the suit and garbage. As they realize the book is a diary, banging is heard in the next room. Something is opening and closing the door. Tá cheio de nome, mano. Caramba, cara. Foi isso, cara? It looks like the hidden figure doesn't want that diary to be read. The cameraman checks outside, but there's nothing. A short while later, another bang is heard, and that's when the diary spontaneously combusts. Cameraman is holding the diary when a corner of the paper catches fire. He throws it to the ground in surprise. Oh, When he picks it back up, a glass breaks in the next room. Causing him to throw it down again. When they gain the courage to pick it up again, another bang is heard, although its source remains unseen. Tinha um Lúcio te adoro por aqui. They enter another room, clearly afraid of what's going on around them and the entity that they've made angry. Later, they are simply standing in a room capturing video when a fire lights beneath one crew member's feet unbeknownst to him. And 
Tá pegando fogo aí, véi! Another runs towards him and pulls him away, and the fire goes out on its own. For the grand finale, they enter the main room, and one of the crew appears to see something in a gap in the roof. A scary shadow leaves the gap as something breaks, causing the crew to vacate the premises ASAP. Caraca, Faye. Mano, vamos, 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 what was in that diary? Something incriminating? We'll never know because the spirit doesn't want us to. So there's this really weird video of some strange lights in the sky that needs a closer analysis. How many were there? 30? 30. And then they just disappear. Look, here comes more. Basically, this guy has caught mysterious things on camera, floating over where he lives, in Metairie, Louisiana. His confused reaction soon spreads to other houses as more people react to the unusual lights above. There's like 30 of them. They keep coming out of nowhere. Yeah, this is the real deal. So let's get this straight. He sees almost 30 odd lights and another neighbor verifies that they've seen them for days on end, seemingly from nowhere. What they've caught on camera cannot be explained by them, so they turn to the YouTube community for help. I think I can help solve the mystery on this one. Those aren't, those aren't Japanese lanterns, are they? Are they? No, because they're all going the same. It's like a little paper balloon, and you put the uh, wick in it, and it lifts it up, and then... Maybe it is. He means a Chinese lantern. I looked it up, and the Lantern Festival is celebrated on the same day this video was made. So hopefully this settles other videos of mysterious lights in the sky caught on this specific day once and for all. We being possessed by shadowy forces without even knowing it. Posted on Blah Blah's channel in January of 2022. This scary video is trending in the Arabic-speaking YouTube community. The footage shows a woman walking a dirt path along a hillside overlooking a city. She is carrying a bag and she's alone. As the cameraman follows a short way behind, a mysterious and barely visible dark figure comes toward the woman on the path. The shadow figure runs right at the woman, but she doesn't notice it and continues on her way. Did the spirit possess her? Well, this captured our imaginations. As it turns out, after doing some research, I found the video is is VFX produced by YouTuber Dark3. Still, the image will prompt you to look over your shoulder the next time you think you're alone. You never know what's behind you until it's too late. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.